happy birthday! Yeah! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear somebody! You! Happy birthday, to motherfucker! And that's for you. You yeah. know who that's for. <laughs> yeah. uh, what's up, Beaners? Uh, hey. How's it going? We love you. You're still alive. Congrats. Woo. Uh, man, good luck with them reopenings, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. If you're in a reopening state, tell us how it's going. Hey, if you want to reopen this state, go, hey, go hey, get your hair done. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead and get your hair done, nigga. Do your thing. Thank you. Uh, ple- uh, and sincerely, thank you for being the guinea pigs for us. Hey. This was crazy. I'm i I'm never rooted so hard for y'all in y'all life, bro. All you yeah. niggas were like, I'm going out. Bro, do your thing. Get out there. I'll talk to you in a month. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully you're right. And you're right. Yo, mm-hmm. I hope you're right. Yeah, I, hopefully you're right. With the with the with the I literally hope you're right. Hopefully you're right. I hope you're right, my nigga. Yeah. Don't be wrong. <laughs> you know? Don't be wrong, you know? Uh, cause I'ma not be wrong. Yeah, yeah. Don't just wait. I'll wait. And then you know what? And then you know what I'll do? I'll find out I was wrong, and I'll be the first nigga on this podcast. I, I can't, I, yo, I can't wait to be the first person to be like, yo, we were so wrong. That shit wasn't a big deal. Yeah, it was really only they blew uh, it out of proportion. It was yeah. only where you know, like it was certain places. Like wow, but whew, at least I, at least I, at least my family's alive. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people can't say that. Whew. Wow. So you know, maybe it is kind of real. What do you think? <laughs> maybe just think about that when you're going to get your hair done. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> 50,000 deaths today. Yay. We we're passed good, we're, it. Yeah, hey, baby. We're, this is, uh, as uh, you know, everybody has the answers. This yes. is the peak, past the peak, and the peak, and, and Widow's Peak, and there's a mountain peak, and nigga, there's a peak, and there's a fucking lull, and then there's a lull, but then we get past the lull with the peak, and we got to, you know, hey, shut the fuck up, <laughs> all y'all niggas, bro, with the peak, and you don't know, <laughs> and, the, and the things, and the fucking second waves. All you know is history. That's all you know, fool, is that this should be happening. So just go off that. Just yeah. go off that. And that's not 100%, but I'm just going off that. I'm going all like, but damn, bro, this should be happening. This should be happening. A lot. Like war. Like other things that just keep happening. Yeah, this is, this you can look back and be like, oh, man, I see how that happened. And look at us now. This Still is, doing uh, it. This is, this is, uh, this is a fucking incredibly crazy that we're living. This is what we're living through. Every, I, I, you know, I heard something that every human lives through like at least one like incredibly life changing world event. We're at number two, baby. Number two. Uh, number uh, uh, two. Uh, uh, y'all can't see uh, me, but I'm quick walking. Two. Because we on that number two, two, two baby. baby. Huh? Huh? 9 11? Huh? How does it feel to get silver, bitch? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, terrorists. You ain't on top no more. Nope. Fucking 20 year dynasty. Over. Over, bro. Over. That's what happens when you fucking trade your quarterback away. Yeah. And that's what we're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> Tom Brady did all this. He did 9 11. He did this. He's breaking into houses in Tampa. Uh, that nigga's wild. Wow. Wait, hold on. What? That is true. Tom Brady came to the league 2001. Yep. Got traded 2019. Yep. That's when the terrorist rain, rend- uh, rain ended. Yep. Oh, wow. Bro, you think I'm playing, fool? Holy shit. You think I'm playing? You think I haven't thought about this? You think there's not a bulletin oh, holy board in my, shit. behind this curtain? But look at the, you can't even see all the dots and lines connected to Tom Brady and Towers. And <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I have a dot connected to Tom Brady <laughs> with, uh, losing a Super Bowl, and it's, it's like Tower 7. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just like, oh, my God. Was it Al Qaeda who deflated those footballs? Yeah. Oh fuck. You think Al Qaeda's not Patriots fans? Oh God. Did they attack New York? That's Boston's sworn enemy. Yeah. Fuck. This is all really coming. And you together. know how much New York sucks? You guys still rallied around and beat that nigga twice. <laughs> and that's why they keep fucking with y'all the worst. <laughs> you think these terrorists? Are, that's why y'all are dying the most. That's why <laughs> everybody died tonight. That's why it's coming to y'all. Cause they're like, get the good. Damn it, we can't stop this Yankees fucking dynasty bullshit. <laughs> and it's bullshit. And they're like, yes, the fucking Babe Ruth, he started it all. That's what they're complaining about. Yep, that's what, the, that's what terrorists care about. Bro, from Babe Ruth to Eli Manning, they're sick of y'all winning. They're sick of it. <laughs> fucking sick of it, dog. They're like, why can't everyone be like the Knicks? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, wait, what the fuck are we talking about? Oh yeah, spoil the beans. Oh hey, god. We're still doing movies, y'all. Yeah, don't don't yeah. relax. Yeah. Relax. We're just having some fun, you know, talking about the thing that's happening. <laughs> uh, uh, uh put Lysol in your veins. 
It's your right as an American. No one can stop you. And that's technically true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga, I would. I would put Lysol in my chest. I smoke too much anyway, dog. I don't know what's in there. It ain't as it, it probably could use some goddamn Lysol, dog. I smoke yeah, so much. There's definitely weed. a lot of resin and shit. A lot of, bro, I got, I, man, bro, I can smoke a resin bowl out of my lungs. That oh, fuck. Oh, dude. It would take, it would take Snoop Dogg down. The resin bowl in my lungs, bro. Actually, what's the resin bowl in his lungs? Man, you gotta stop smoking so much weed, guys. And black people. Don't do anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is what I've learned about the virus. Are you black? Bro, you just can't. You can't win. <laughs> oh, how did I segue <laughs> into the movie? <laughs> oh, God. That's exactly what this movie's kind of about, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, their Wizard of Oz dystopia in The Wiz is shit. <laughs> Yeah. It's that's, shitty. It's I mean, it's beautiful the, the, how they do it because it's art. The, but I mean, if you live there. The sets are insane. Yeah, the set's insane. Mm-hmm. You can tell they spent $24 million in 1970, mm-hmm. which was like a billion dollars. Yeah. Which uh, also, a part of it was like, this is beautiful, but like, also like a little unnecessary. Like, they, <laughs> they, it's all because sh- it's like you're making it look like a shitty dystopia. So it's like, what is this? Yeah. Uh, well, um, what's it called? So. A couple of the Amazon facts. Oh, by the way, we do the movie before we do the movie you're here for. Oh, yeah. Fucking yeah. chill. We did the movie. We did Wiz last week, so I got I to gotta, I gotta give my review now. Yeah. Uh, new listener. Uh, yeah. Fucking weirdo looking for new podcasts right now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. We love you. Um, uh, what's it called? So a couple, a couple of the Amazon facts that I got when I was watching the movie. The first one is one of the scenes, they straight up rented out Shea Stadium, which, hey, Probably didn't need to do that. Dope. Uh, dope Baller, but, bro. Come yeah. on. Let, ball, let, my, let niggas ball. This is the first time ever. Hey, you got to look at it like this, too. Just uh-huh. for, This is the first time niggas got to ball out for a movie. Okay. Ever. Ever. Okay. Ever. In the history of making a movie. They, they gave black people $24 million. It's fair. We're renting out Shea Stadium. Yeah. Hey, you, we're doing stuff to just prove a point. But I get going. that. I get that. Bigger. It, well, it's huge. I was going to say, because like, well, it says uh, the musical won a Tony for best musical. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I mean that that the music the, is the best part. The, of the, the songs are great. Uh, I like the uh, the you can't win was great. He's on the road. Will I'll always love because of our sketch. Yeah, which is on our Instagram. Watch it. Spoiled the Instagram. Watch it. Um, and then uh, the one the no bad news. <sighs> that song's Don't nobody great. Nobody bring me no bad news. Come that song on. is great. Those those are if I had to pick favorites, those would be my oh. three favorites. Oh, dude, I don't I don't blame me on any of those. Those are all fucking. Um, Classics. It's also like it's also funny to to uh that um <laughs> like everyone's a good singer. Like 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 so so like the Nipsey Russell is a good singer. Right? Oh yeah. But then you hear him sing and then you hear Michael sing and you're like, Oh, this guy is like in another world. Well, and then Diana Ross. Yeah, yeah. Those, <laughs> like, I mean, the, what the f- Oh also Lena Lena Horn, Horn, yeah, you're thinking, you're like, who Yeah, who the fuck? And then you see Quincy Jones on the piano and you're like uh, <laughs> that's what the fuck. It's this guy. Well, it's I, fucking this dude. I, 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 I was watching Lena Horne sing, and it was like, huh. This is a bad white, old white bitch. Black bitch. I don't know what the fuck she is, but she was bad. You she see was I mean the now? lightest skinned white, black so, woman. So now you see what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I, was like, I, I don't like, know, but she was a big activist, so it's like, you can do whatever you want. You know? uh, uh, yeah. Uh, it was like, holy fuck. This is so crazy. I am. If I'm, I'm so racist that if you light skinned, you can't be an activist. Martin Luther King was light skinned. <laughs> <laughs> and Malcolm X. Both the niggas was light skinned. Well, yeah, someone's got to listen to them. Uh, racism still works. Uh- <laughs> Dude, you have a fucking problem, guys. Guys, I'm so sorry for this kind of behavior. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, it's so funny to know when you know that the wizard is prior. It's so funny then to hear his voice when it's before great. you meet him. Yeah, yeah like, oh wow, so clearly prior. But the like, color red is dead. And yeah. you're like, that's fucking Richard, Richard Pryor. Pryor. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Really cool. Yeah. Um, what's it called? Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite out of the classic characters? Out of the four. You know the four. I like who in this movie. In this one. Not in not in this in this whiz. Who is your I, favorite? Yeah, who's out my of favorite? Four? I would probably say Not the original. The Tin Man. Tin Man's your favorite in this. He Tin kills Man. it, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, Tin Man's my probably my favorite. Was a hot. <laughs> Step right up and save, save a life. life. He's, yeah, he's, he's funny. funny. Oh, I like the oil song too. Oil oh, song. slide on some oil too. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's super funny. Uh, yeah. I love that one. And his dancing. Uh, I tell you how, like, oh, it was really hard to dance in that suit. Yeah, I can see that. Because the suit is legit. It's like, oh, they, they, they went all out. They were like, yo, we're going <clears> to, <throat> which is why. Mm-hmm. 
just on some special effects shit while this movie holds up, or I think any movie, we talk about this all the time, any movie that holds up, bro, If no matter how old the movie is. If you use the real thing. If you use real fucking special effects, the movie can be a billion years old, bro. That shit's going to still mm-hmm. look cool. Mm-hmm. Always. Oh, I mean, no, it is a guarantee. We saw this with the second of the of the the the, the second group of Star Wars that came out, the one in the two thousands, the pre the prequels. Yeah, uh, That's what they were. Yeah, they were. They, were. <laughs> um, the, they just don't look good at all. Not now. They just don't look good because they didn't use real shit. And lots of movies that way, where you it, it, like lots of movies are that way, where you watch them now mm-hmm. and they don't hold up at all because they're from the, that 2000s that early 2000s era where they were like they f- just learned CGI so they lost their fucking mind with CGI on yeah. every fucking movie yeah bro all those movies look like trash now yeah you can watch a movie from 1980 1990 and that shit looks amazing Little Shop of Horrors looks great looks great fucking this looks amazing the, the, the visual effects hold up right now because it's because it's, they use real shit it's like man that's a so yeah don't use CGI bro that shit tra- makes your movie trash unless you're like have Avengers money, then you can use CGI because they made Thanos look amazing. Yeah, but but it, it does it does it, it does make you wonder. It's like I wonder. I mean, in He'll twenty years, well, I mean, it, most likely, but there's a chance. Uh, I think they will hold up because they do use uh, a lot of like. But yeah, the problem with Star Wars is that everything was CGI. Yeah, we're talking about like the chairs the, they sat on, the, and, like, the the gear Thanos is wearing is real. They they yeah, put yeah. gear on a big man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so th- there is this like, well, that's a real effect. Like, that's what I. F- but I do feel you. Like, I don't know how much his face may hold up way later. I, maybe you're right, absolutely. But like, I think that movie will still hold up because there's so many of the effects in the, all the Avengers movies are, are, are not CGI. Yeah, they're just people fighting it's or whatever a, the fuck. No, uh, no, I mean like they used uh, an actual plane or they used an actual mm-hmm. like the set like the setting in the Civil War final fight scene. That's oh, yeah. actually at an airport. Yeah, yeah. There's an actual not. plane there. There's actual trucks blowing up. You know Whereas what I mean? Whereas the early 2000s it would have been a it, bad you know exactly CGI plane. Been. That's yeah. a, that, so I, I mean that I do think a lot of these movies today will hold up. Even the new Star Wars. They, they suck as movies. <laughs> They're not as well written as the prequels. I like the prequels. The Star Wars, I like them. Just. The prequels are better than the sequels, bro. The pre- as sure. written movies, for sure. The the fucking new ones suck ass. New ones were bad. I didn't even watch the last one. That's what I'm saying. They're and actually I have bad. Literally, no want to watch the last one. No one's been telling me to watch the last the one. The prequels you at least wanted to yeah. see. Yeah, you want to be. Like, you want to see how it finished. I want to yeah. see how this nigga turns into Darth Vader. Like they, oh, they set it up. I watched so many. Uh, I checked out after Solo. After Solo, I was like, all right, they don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> Solo sucked. They don't give a fuck anymore. I'm Solo not gonna get. Trash, I'm bro. not gonna give them my money for their for bullshit. Stop trying to pump them out and write one that's because that's that was during the pump out shit. Mm-hmm. You know what was good though? They're trying to do a whole Star Wars universe like N- Marvel. Bro, nigga, you know what was good? That motherfucking Star Wars, the Rogue One. I liked Rogue One. That was good, was hard, it was, good, it was a good idea. Woo! Ending was fire. I mean, I, nigga, yeah. go see Rogue One, bro. If he ain't seen it, he's seen it already. So I ain't gonna, but nigga, the Rogue Star, Rogue One, Star Wars. It ain't, it ain't, got, and also it ain't got nothing to do with the other Star Wars. Food. It's just in the world. So that shit go hard as fuck. <clears throat> I was like, they, they, but that somebody took time with their script. That's a script. It's a movie. It's also a good premise idea. Amazing. It was a good premise. It wasn't idea. just like, oh, yo, let's take Han Solo and give him a movie, and it's like, all right, that's a that is a premise, but what? Who cares? Who like? What's the real? Give me a reason why we have this movie, because then right. I might care. Right. You got to give me a fucking good ass reason, bro. Can't just fucking yeah. These niggas suck now. <laughs> but the prequels ain't bad. Um, Jar Jar Binks. That's he cool. loves Jar Jar Binks because uh, he's the best character. You know, you, you can go ahead and message him about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, message Hassan and let him know no, how you feel. No, no, please message him personally. I don't need to spoil the beans to be flooded with. That many Jar Jar Binks messages. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it was a fun movie. It was fun. The song Star was Wars. Great. Um, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Star Wars was also pretty fun. Uh, no, The Wiz. Yeah, The Wiz. Oh, yeah, it's fun, man. The, the, the Wiz was a fun movie. The, the songs, the songs were great. Um, as a movie, the first one was probably better. Like if you like in terms of like story. Yeah. I you know but the the songs in this one were. I oh, the first well. one. The first one's tighter. Mm. I mean, if I'm being if I'm being a hundred, the first one's a tighter movie. Also, the the uh, the, the in terms of writing to see, to see the bat to see the real bad guy in the last ten minutes of the movie is kind of like whatever. Yeah. But uh, the fir- the first one is like, but the, the, uh, this one it's they cared more about the metaphors than the actual like s- like here's this the one, story. No, this one was all about black people. Yeah, this one was just they were just like, yo, we're gonna make the biggest production about mm. black people for black people mm. that we can. That's why I thought it was because they were like, you could tell it was like, yo, this is not, this is for black people. Mm. We are making this shit 
if you like it, you like it, but it's for black people. Also, uh, me, that's why I gave it two thumbs down. <laughs> yep, he did. He did. He did do that. He gave it. He gave it two thumbs down. Before and, I even watched it, I was like, yeah, "Who's he gave this it for?" Two thumbs down and two n words up. Well, I thought it was very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, uh, uh, I have to be honest with my ratings. Uh, <laughs> Brian Johnson talked to me about how uh, I should have talked to my mama about this. I don't know why I talked to the oh. nigga that does our art. Yeah. <laughs> because they were both alive at the same time. Yeah. But Brian Johnson hit me up when I told him that we were doing this movie. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, I love this movie with the Whoop. That's the guy who does all our art. Mm-hmm. And he said how he remembers when this movie came out, it was just the biggest deal ever because all, all white people were so mad. This... How, how dare they make this? Oh, dear, that, yeah. And that's why it, it was, it tanked and it wasn't in the theaters and it wasn't on TV really, like didn't promote. That's why. That, that makes me like that's it more. That's why. It's because that white, people white people were mad. Yeah, it made white people. Oh, I mean, you know, also... 1978, how mad were they, bro? Yeah, and you, t- the Wizard of Oz, the fucking American Insulation. <laughs> Bam, that's a good impression. <laughs> <laughs> but how mad would they be, Asan? How mad, bro, Asan, how mad would America and these white folks be <laughs> if brown people were like, bro, we're going to make a brown Goodfellas? <laughs> like shot, like shot for shot, idea for idea. Yeah, make it our own. Make it our own about brown. Make it for hundred percent for brown people. But when you watch it, you're like, nigga, this is good fellas. Yeah. There's no, this is no way around that this is good fellas. How mad? You see what I'm saying? People, yeah, people be people off. be like, how dare y'all? That's our history. That's our culture. That's our hey. Shut the fuck up. It's a movie. <laughs> it's a movie. None of it's real. It's a movie. It's like all. Oh, even if you're like, oh, the good fellas thing is real, nigga. It's a movie. Hey, hey, Ray Liotta. Wasn't seeing helicopters, nigga. It was just Ray Liotta. And they, he read, say, you need, to, you need to be like, oh, I've been seeing helicopters all day. That's how, that's what happened. Relax. Relax. <sighs> but you know what? I'm happy this made white people mad. Oh, um, it makes me and, feel good. And that's what life is really all about, you know? And that's the whiz. That is the whiz. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, white people. <laughs> <laughs> Beaners, this is your intermission right now. Before we get into the episode you are here for. Uh, really quick, thank you for listening. Yes, we love you. We do. Uh, please subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, rate and review this podcast on iTunes. Please rate and review. That stuff matters. We could use the help, and we would appreciate it. Yeah, tell your friends about the podcast. We know you love it. Tell your friends about the podcast. We know you love it. You keep going back and listening to old episodes. That's yeah. how we know you love it. We appreciate that. And uh, yeah, follow us on Instagram, at Spoil the Beans, and then you can find our individual Instagrams. We're linked on everything. Follow Eric us Eric Poston, Sanamad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, and a uh, shout out to Greg Scamato for making our theme music. Uh, if you want uh, some more samples from him or maybe help from him, check out gregcanhelp.com. Yep. Yeah. And now back to your future presentation. Hey, everybody. Hey. We're back. And happy Hi. birthday again. Happy birthday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do. Uh, what's up, Beaners? So, we got any ads? Uh, any yeah. Marriage? Yeah, we have, we have a couple sponsors. Guys. If you're looking for dope graphic design needs, I am. Yeah, well, you know pandemic what? Pandemic going on. Oh, yeah, this is the best time for it. You know, <laughs> you know where you should go to ChitoCon on Instagram. Where? Oh, on Instagram at C H I T O K A N ChitoCon. That guy has the best graphic design graphic design I've ever seen. It's yeah, like the best. It's uh, it's awesome. It's unique. Uh, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. The Jews are there. The Jews are there. His slogan. His, Weird, his yeah, slogan. Yeah, it doesn't, kind of makes no sense, but it's at ChitoCon, C-H-I-T-O-K-N. The Jews are there. Yep. Best graphic design you'll ever need. Uh, Asan, did you watch the NFL Draft? I did watch the NFL Draft. You like football. I love football. You know football stuff. I love football. Yeah, I do know football stuff. Do you like football players? I do like football players. Do you like their Instagrams? I do like their Instagrams. Because you just like to see what they're up to, huh? Yeah. Like, like, what's, what, what's your day-to-day like, you know? Is there a specific player maybe that you should that they should that any of our followers should really go to his Instagram? You know what? To really see some fun. They should go to Darren Bates' his Instagram. Who's he play for? He plays for the Tennessee Titans. Whoa! Yeah. And what about his Instagram? Should you know? Yeah, you should just go and know it. You <laughs> just just go and see what he's how he's chilling with his family and working out. Yep. Yep. And that's what you should do. It's D A D A R E N one R B A T E S. Darren Bates. It has a check mark. Go click it and just follow him. At Westland Sun. Westland Sun. Westland underscore Sun 56. 56. Westland underscore Sun 56. Mr. Darren Bates himself. Go follow him. He sponsors our podcast. That's all he wants from you. And that's all he wants. And you know what? That's not a fucking lot. No. no that's not honestly not a fucking lot. That's not so a lot just go me. fucking watch him be a dad. That's all he really wants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all he does on his Instagram. <laughs> yeah. It's not like Tory Lane's Instagram. You're not going to see like a bunch of titties and ass. Uh, but you will see 
you know, him feed his four-year-old. Wow, I got to follow Tory Lanez, huh? <laughs> Yo, dude, Tory Lanez got a dope Instagram live. But more so, follow Darren Bates. Oh, well, yeah, he sponsors yeah. us. That's yeah. the most important thing. Yeah. So if, yo, we, I, I know how many listeners we have, so he should have all our, he should yeah. have that, or whatever his followers are, he should, boom, all of that. So go over there and follow him. He fucking sponsors us. He supports us, just like you. So go support him, because that's what Beaner Nation is all about. Yeah, Beaner Nation is all about support and family. Yep. And the Jews are, are here. here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Asan, you love football. I do love, love football. sex. I love sex. You love. Where is this going? <laughs> this is uh <laughs> you love football you love sex you love the Bee Gees. i do love the Bee Gees. these are things you love yes. i know you pretty well yes <laughs> still very scared as to where this is going we'll talk about the movie okay well actually i'm not okay what i'm talking about maybe you know what maybe you can answer it for me okay Put the things that you love on hold for a second. We'll come okay. back to that. Okay. Can you do me a favor? Okay. Can you actually take your time on this one? You know, usually I say really fast. Yeah. Because I, I usually just want it really fast. Mm-hmm. This one, take your time. I'll take my time. Can you Fuck, take your I time? Make up so many more details. And tell me. No, just take your time to think about it. Okay. That's all that means. Take your time to think about it. Okay. Can you take your time and tell me what you think happens in? The film, one of my favorite movies of all time, one of my favorite books of all time, The Green Mile. Oh, yeah, you always said that book was amazing. Okay. Um, you know who wrote that book? Stephen King. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, I know this is Tom Hanks. Which Take is one time. of the things I love. I would love to have sex with Tom Hanks. I know that. Um, well, listen to the Bee Gees. Yeah, yeah. After watching football. After Trust watching me, football. I know your day. That is a, that is a great day. That's a fucking uh, awesome day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Fuck. So, and then what's his, is it Michael Clark Duncan? Is that his name? Am I being racist? Uh, <laughs> I said, take your time, but you couldn't help being racist immediately. Yeah, yeah. I said, hey, take your time, think about it. He said, I have to be racist now because I'm a son. Um, you know, you see him. Tell me what happens, bud. Um, in the film, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, main character is black dude, and <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. I don't know what's good. Yeah. Just go, you racist fuck. <laughs> Just fucking tell me. And maybe I think oh, God, I'm trying, just trying to piece together what I might have heard about it. Um, Give me your movie. Fuck yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I like your movies are better anyway. Yeah, yeah. And so maybe like his wife gets murdered. I think I'm just doing Shawshank. Either way, and his, his wife gets murdered. Give me your movie, dude. And, I love it. And you know he's wife like he's like blamed for it. And maybe it's like a white guy who kills his wife. But you know, you know. They don't give a fuck. He's yeah. a black guy, and he's a, he's a black guy, you yeah. know, and he's in the area. Damn. And they, you know, maybe it's like an outcast, and they just sort of, you know, they railroad him through the system, uh-huh. and he's in death row, Damn. and then you meet prison guard Tomathan Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> that's his rapper son? That's a, that's a, I, think that's a, I think that's his rapper son. <laughs> that's his name, right? Tomathan Hanks? If there isn't a rapper by the name of Tomathan Hanks within the next couple of years, you're really missing out. Uh, <laughs> he just got corona. He's popping. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then so it's uh, – what's it? For a guy? He's all right. So you said he killed a wife. No, he didn't. I'm sorry. He didn't kill a wife. He, he is framed right now for killing a wife. Framed a wife. He just met a prison guard. Yeah, he just Keep met going. a prison guard. And then, you know, they they start off on contentious terms. Maybe this happens in, like, the 50s or whatever. So, like. 50s. Yeah. So, okay. like, obviously, Tom is like, I don't like you because of your skin color. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> and black guy is like, come on. I'm a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm a little, maybe a little rough around the edges. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, black man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's, like, a, he's a strong. He's not polished, in, huh? Yeah, a strong internal code. And he acts how he wants to act, regardless of how people feel about him. I like so, that. All right, could, now I like this character. Yeah, <laughs> which could come off in yeah. a racist setting. It was a big Oscar-nominated you, huge movie that destroyed the box office. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I know. Okay, keep yeah, going. Yeah. <laughs> which, which could come off in a racist setting as like, ah, oh, he's 
we can't we can't like this one. You yeah. know, he's not one of the good ones. Oh. Probably, that's probably something they say at some point. I hate in when movie. they do that. Um, you yeah. love that scene, but I don't like it. Eh, you know, you always uh, root when it happens. Well, I'm like <laughs> literally, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do the Arsenio Bark every yeah, time yeah. a racist scene happens in a movie. Yeah. Don't go see Twelve Years a Slave with this guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, American History X, lighthearted comedy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, finish. Give me your climax. Okay. Climax. All um, me. And I, I, <laughs> do it. Uh, finish. <laughs> um, it's Stephen King, right? So it's like, oh, there's it's gotta like, be crazy. It's like, yeah, yeah. And there's like, there's like, I, I remember a scene where like he opens his mouth and a bunch of flies or some shit come out. So he's like, there's probably like some weird supernatural element to all of this. Um, this that would be very Stephen King too. I, uh. He also wrote Shawshank, which is no. Yeah, but most, m- more often than not, there's some supernatural thing happening in a Stephen King, Stephen King novel. You describe Shawshank. You know what are we talking about? Keep going. Yeah, 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 I mean, it's not a real movie. You yeah, keep going. All right. Yeah. So what's the climax? Uh, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, he ends up like winning a- Tom Hanks over, but no, they ended up killing him. Damn, but he wins Tom Hanks over? He wins Tom Hanks over, and Tom Hanks sort of sees, like, oh, man, this is what's fucked up about the system. <laughs> oh, it's a system movie. It's a system movie. It's all about so it's all about the prison and how they interact with people. It's all, it's all like... It's like a different take on Shawshank. Yes. Interesting. And your guy does not win at the end of his, his Shawshank. No, no, no. Because you described Shawshank to me. Yes, but the bag... <laughs> this is Shawshank, but uh, the, 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 the guy who's innocent dies. Want to know something cool about this movie? Yeah. Same director and writer as Shawshank. Really? Frank Darabont. Mm. Yeah, he's unreal. Oh. This came out, uh, so he did this and then, uh, or no, he did a... Uh, You'd be really funny if every movie Frank Darabont made about people who were free were terrible. That'd be really funny. <laughs> if every movie about a free person... No, uh, he's only made three things that are dope. Okay. Uh, this, so he did, he did, he did Shawshank, mm-hmm. 94, mm-hmm. this in 99, 99, and then my nigga did All the Walking Dead. Oh, which, in its own way, is a prison. So yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 that's why I was, you yeah. beat me there. But yeah, yeah. all prison movies. <laughs> all, all prison shit. All right. Yeah, but that's, uh, uh, that's a, this if, is a if, bad man. If that's your resume, that's an amazing resume. Oh it, no, this this is a yeah. no. Frank Darabont's a bad motherfucker, bro. This is a Oscar Oscar all Oscar nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah, all kind of Oscars. Great uh, writer and director. Yeah, I love. I love also. Great that's, name. that's the best kind of movie. When a nigga directs and writes the movie, and it's all from this is all from the mind of only two people, his and Stephen, Stephen King. Mm-hmm. So love it. Also, Stephen King gave him like. Well, also he already, he did Shawshank Redemption so, so much justice. So you, of course him. you're gonna trust him. Mm-hmm. This killed the box. Up. Sixty million dollar budget, about three hundred million. Uh, yeah, this theaters. is huge. I huge. Remember. You ready? Yeah, I remember all. It was nominated for all the Oscars. Yeah, it didn't really win any. Right. Nom- yeah, it's one of those where it just wrong. Uh, it, it, whatever oh, yeah. it was up against a uh, ninety nine. Uh, American Beauty. I think yeah, I think American year. Beauty was winning everything. Mm-hmm. But it was one of those that nominated for everything. Mm-hmm. Bro, you ready for the Green Mile? It's time. You know what? It's time for the Green Mile. Sam had never seen it either. Lost her fucking mind. It's a three hour movie. It goes by in a minute. When you see it, you'll see it. It goes by in three hour. Three Ooh. hour nine minute movie. Ooh. This movie goes by so fast when you watch it. It doesn't make sense. Okay. It's okay, like Infinity wow. War. Okay. But I mean, edge of your seat, three hours of what the fuck is this? Especially since you don't know it. So that's why I'm so excited for you. Yeah, yeah. It was fun watching it with Sam because she didn't know. She was like, what the fuck is this? Okay. <sighs> you ready? Yes. Let's do this. Let's do this. Movie starts. We see immediately, we see men walking through a cotton field with guns. Mm-hmm. Okay, slow motion. Credits are rolling. Eerie ass music playing. So I was like, what the fuck is this? A guy, you see a guy, like a camera zooms in on a certain guy's face and he finds some like cloth on like the cotton. Mm. And he's like, <gasps> and you see him like, like yell, but it's all slow-mo. You can't hear anything. You just hear the eerie music. He yells. Everyone else starts sprinting like towards him in slow-mo. You see, you hear the dogs barking. Hoo, 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 hoo. Green Mile. Okay. Okay. We're starting. All right. We're starting. It goes to black. <clears throat> you hear. This is all you hear. You love your sister. And then you hear. Cora! Katie! And a dude wakes up. Right? It's like you see eyes. That's all you see. Like that, right? Mm-hmm. It's an old ass man. We're talking old as shit. Like an old man. Right. Old fucking man. And he gets up. He kind of calms himself down. And then he, you know, he gets ready. And then pan out. He opens the door. He's in a nursing home. Okay. Okay, so it's old man and nurse. I, don't you love it? Like you're like, oh, nigga, right. what is, what is okay, happening? So we're starting here. So we're gonna learn about his life, probably. So he learns the nursing home. White guy. White dude. Oh, yeah, old white man. Oh. He uh, still, but uh, when he gets out, he's old. I'm talking about bro. When you see him, like, oh, this is super old, but his mind is still super sharp. sharp. Okay, one of those. Okay, and he can still walk. Okay. All right, 
And he comes in and like he, he comes into the breakfast thing and he sees another old lady and she smiles and he kind of winks at her and you know and then uh, he gets his bread and the cafeteria worker is like you want to go on one of your another one of your long walks again Mr. Edgecombe huh and he looks at him all nervous and the black guy's like oh don't worry you know I ain't gonna tell on you he's like I just make sure you don't get caught man all right when you're out there he's like because you know you're out there for a long time and can't fall or bust anything, man. I ain't coming on no big ass search rescue for you. All right. And then the you know, old guy laughs. He's like, I won't, I promise. He's like, I just, he's like, well, where do you go on those long walks, Mr. Edgecombe? And the old guy's like, I just, I just like to walk. And he's like, okay. All right. Mm-hmm. This is like one of the movies you be doing to me, bro. You're like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. I can tell you, like, what is, yeah, what is what's, happening? What's, why? why? There's no, there's no stability. Okay. Like, yeah, for you, yeah, because you're like, I don't even know. So uh, he, he... You have he, no reference point. Nothing. It's a p- pretty impressive how big this movie was. And I remember this movie, then I know no, nothing oh, yeah, about you, it. Oh, by the way, 100% as always, yeah. you do nothing wrong. You guessed the Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you, buddy. It was awesome because it's like, oh, I'm about to fuck your brain up because okay. you don't know what's about to happen. No idea. You don't know who's in this either because you didn't no. say anybody. So no, it's like, I didn't. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so uh, old dude, he grabs his raincoat and he sneaks out the nursing home all happy. And he goes for like his long walk and these beautiful shots of him going to this green pastures and shit. He makes it all the way to this old abandoned shed, right? He looks in the window, cut back. Next day, he's back at the nursing. He's, you know, he's back in the nursing home. It's the next day, all right? Mm-hmm. They're all in the, in the, I guess, like, you know, the chill room for a nursing home where they're right. all watching TV well, and playing games. Yeah, so yeah. Like the hangout room. The rec room. Yeah, they're all watching Jerry Springer. I don't think everybody's watching him. Mm-hmm. One, another old dude starts arguing how he's sick of watching this bullshit. Whoop de whoop, this sucks. And another old guy's like, ah, oh, it's entertaining. It's funny. And he's like, man, this shit sucks. Let's watch something that has some goddamn class for once, right? So he starts changing the channel. While he's changing the tan- channel, uh, like the old dude is talking to the remember lady you winked at? Right. They're sitting next to each other and she's like, Hey, are you okay? You look nervous. And he's like, and he's like, No, I just I just didn't sleep well last night. That's all. She's like, Okay, okay. Are you sure? You look you like you're on edge, Paul. And he's like, I'm I'm just I'll be fine, all right? And she's just like, Okay, you know? And then right then the guy hits it to one channel and it's an old movie, black and white picture. And it's like a the guy's singing on the screen, and he's like, "I'm in heaven," and it's Fred Astaire. It's a real movie, okay. by the way. I'm in heaven, and my heart can hardly speak. And he's dancing, right? You know, as you know, something, something as we're dancing cheek to cheek. And cut to like everybody's like watching. They're, all the old people are smiling like they remember it. Cut to Paul. He's breaks down, starts crying. Everybody turns around, look at him, and he's like <clears throat> sobbing. <gasps> and then she's like, Paul, Paul, are you, oh my God, are you okay? He's like, I can't, I can't. And he storms out. Okay? Cut to those two are sitting having tea with each other. Because everybody else is looking at the door like, what the fuck just happened? So they're sitting having tea with each other. And he's just stirring his tea. And they're not saying anything for a while. It's raining super hard. Mm-hmm. And she goes, uh, you know, he just kind of like looks at him like this. And then he finally looks up and he goes, oh, he goes, sometimes the past just kind of catches up with you. She goes, she's like, was it the film? He goes, I haven't spoken of these things in 60 years. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> and she goes, well, I'm your friend, Paul. You can tell me anything. He goes, I ever tell you I was a prison guard during the Great Depression? Great Depression Great movie. Depression. Okay. What we're going through now, guys. Oh, wow. Boo! <laughs> hey, black people are getting fucked now too. Oh, dude, they're still keeping everything alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he goes, uh, I supervised death row. Mm-hmm. She goes, what? And he goes, all the executions. I supervised all of them. She goes, uh, usually a death row, no matter every, no matter what prison you're talking about, it's called the last mile. We called ours the green mile because the color of the faded lime on the tile. Mm. All right, that's true. The last mile is what they call like the last, the last like sort of walk, walk on your death row, right? Yeah. What would be your final meal? You're we'll on death there. row. Okay. You want to get there? Oh, we'll get there. Oh, we'll get there. Okay. Oh, okay, brother, we'll get. I promise you, we'll get there. Okay. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So he goes, uh, you know, you know, called us the green mile because of the lime, you know, and then we had our, we used an electric chair, old Sparky, we called it, and he was like a. Uh, I was there for a crazy amount of years. Like, I, like, I forgot what amount of years it says. Maybe 20, 30 years. He goes, but 1935. Okay. That's the year that takes the prize. I had the worst UTI infection of my life. You know, urinary tract infection. Mm-hmm. And also, it's the year John Coffey and the two get dead girls came into my life. All right. Cut back to, you see, it's 1935. Okay. All right, we see men working on the prison field singing like that kind of prison time, you know? Right. Like, oh, and they're all outside working and shit. Right. 
we see guys pulling in on a truck uh, in a truck like with off off like uh, officer suits and shit. You can't see who's in the back of the truck, but mm-hmm. you see them in the front. We see a, another guy opening up a cell, getting getting it all ready. Whoop de whoop. And uh, we see a young actor. Uh, you've never seen Saving Private Ryan. Nope. Damn, bro. The young actor, the, the nigga in this, bro. He's my favorite character. He's an amazing actor. He's my. You've seen him in other shit too. Okay. But those uh, in Saving Private Ryan, he's my favorite character. Okay. The whole movie. Okay. He's amazing in this, but in Saving Private Ryan, he is that nigga, dog. Oh my god. So it's him. Uh, he's like cleaning up the cell. No, he, he's looking out the window, like seeing who's pulling up. We see, uh, and then cut to we see our lead. He's t- try, He's in the bathroom having a piss. It's. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks, okay. All right, he's the old man. How you know is he's trying to pee, and he's sweating, and he's fucking cussing, and, bro, it looks like the most painful shit you've ever seen in your life. Oof. All right? I mean, and it's visceral, too. Like, yeah. <laughs> right? And they're like, Paul? Hey, Paul? And he's like, give me a minute! I'm fucking pissing razor blades in here. And then just all this, and then he pees a little bit, and he's like, oh, oh. Uh, oh bro. It's, it, and I saw this movie when I was a kid. I saw this movie when I was like maybe 11, when it came out on VHS 12. Yeah. Bro, it, this scene fucked me up. So I, I, I'm still to this day, I'm terrified of a, a, of a urinary tract infection or like, or like passing a kidney stone. Oh, kidney stones. Because you see, terrify me. You, th- bro, this shit, when you see this scene, bro, you, yeah. it's so visceral, bro. It's yeah. like, oh my God. Also, it's, he has it all. You know what I mean? This is what he, this, this, think about this. This is the year of this in your life. What yeah. a year. Oh, God. Also, I love the, you know Stephen King? Because all these things are like, what does all this mean? All this will come and they'll all connect at some point. Good writing, bro. Yeah. It's amazing. Great I mean, I love, I love that. That's mm-hmm. great writing, dog. So, how are all your quarantine novels coming? Keep working, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fucking make that shit connect also. Yeah. Don't leave people hanging. So, you know, uh, he he comes out and he just looks like death, right? He's just mm-hmm. sweating his ass off. And then the, uh, the dude talking to him, uh, damn, bro, he's in everything too. His name, he's in everything, bro. The nigga, uh, what's his name? He's in... Uh, uh, His name's a fucking oh yeah, David Morse. He's a great actor. Uh, he's I mean he's in like the Hurt Locker. He's a bunch of shit fool. You never seen that either. But yeah, he, when you see him, he, uh, he's in a bunch of like so I classics him. to now. Okay, yeah, a cra- great, great, like, uh, great uh, uh, character actor. That's what he is. Mm-hmm. Character actor. So you got him. He's in this. Mm-hmm. He's one of the officers too. Right. All right, and then uh, like. He he's looking outside the window as well, and the truck. He's like he's all confused. And he looks back. He's like, "Is the truck riding on the axle? Because the truck's all low and shit." He's like, "Man, did they break a spring? Like, what the fuck is going on?" All right, and then uh, you know uh, what's his name? Paul's like, "Let's look alive, team." You know, Tom Hanks yeah. is clearly the, the leader. And then right then, the doors open up to the truck, and we see big black feet come out the back. Brutal side. The dude, dude looking out the window. Paul's about to sell, so he can't see. Brutal, brutal dude's looking out the window. And then you see just the leg stand up and the truck whoosh, raises back up. Oof. All right? You see this little dude, this asshole, bro. This, I mean, when I say a nigga looks like Joffrey, he ain't Joffrey, but you know how okay. you see a motherfucker, you're like, I don't like him. I hate this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he's immediately screaming, dead man walking here. You can only see him, and he's like up to this nigga's chest. You can't see the black dude's face. You know, okay. that's how big the motherfucker is. And he's just like, dead man, dead man walking. He's yelling right in Paul inside. He's like, man, what the fuck is he yelling about? You know, he's mad. Like, what is person yelling about? You see this fucking big ass dude walk in, right? And then, the, like, the brutal dude, who's also big as fuck, he's huge too. He turns around, he goes, Paul, this man is enormous. And then Tom Hanks laughs. He's like, I can't be that much bigger than you. And he looks at him like, and he laughs like, yeah. oh, 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 right? So a person keeps yelling, dead man, dead man, walk in here. Still haven't seen his face. They walk him all the way down the hallway, and then finally Tom Hanks is like, that's enough, Percy. And the, the little dude like, looks, like, looks all mad about it. Like, right? a little man syndrome. Oh. Jerry Rice. Oh, you're about whatever. to. You thought you've hated niggas in movies before, yeah. <laughs> Nigga. So the guard... He, uh, the other guards are just like looking at this nigga's arms like, oh, my God. God, mm-hmm. right? Look at that butt. But <laughs> and then so the movie go, takes a whole different turn. Oh, it makes a it's a great turn. Yeah, a lot of lube and a lot of gay sex. Turns into <laughs> a magic buff black guy. Yeah, <laughs> Mike. Uh, so you see Tom Hanks. He looks up like that, and he goes, "I'm gonna have any trouble with you, big boy." And then you don't hear anything. Tom Hanks goes, "Can you talk?" Huh? And then the camera finally pans up. Mm-hmm. Michael Clark Duncan. Okay. All right. Yes, sir, boss. I can talk. 
And then Percy, the, the little dude, goes, well, move your ass then. Fucking hits him super hard on the chest. Does nothing, by the way, but hits him with his stick, right? Right. And then uh, Tom Hanks goes, Percy, why don't you go downstairs and see if they need some help down in the infirmary? And he's like, they're good down there. And he goes, well, why don't you go and make sure for me? He's like, no, I'm pretty sure. I don't care where you go, Percy. You're just not going to be here at this moment. And the little Percy dude's like, <sighs> and he like turns around all pissed and he runs into the brutal guy. And the brutal guy's like, what? You know what I mean? Like, right. and then he looks at the other guards and they're all looking at him like, we f- do anything. We don't like you. We, f- oh, and he, yeah. you know, he fucking little Wait, man storms do off. Do I know who plays Purse? Oh, yeah, you recognize him too. Okay. Another, uh, just like you recognize the brutal guy, all great character actors in this. Okay. Like, even the, the dude from, uh, uh, same Private Ryan, he's character. Like all the everyone in this besides Tom is a amazing character actor. Okay. So, uh, you know the they you know he just you know he's like get off my block you know uh, so like per- Percy like walks off you know he's all mad and there's a dude like leaning on the wall la- like leaning out his cell laughing at him. It's the bad guy from Air Bud. What what a crazy two years for him, huh? <laughs> Character actor. Yeah. Also, what a very different level of movie. He's French in this too. Really? Mm-hmm. Jesus. Oh, he can act. Oh, you can see, bro. Uh, I can't wait for we're you. Talking, we're talking about the clown guy, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can't wait for you. That guy, the clown guy that we laugh more on anything. That guy huh, is gonna make you cry like you never believed. Oh, is this what? Is this where they take him after he loses the after the dog chooses the kid? I told you. Damn. It's a really tragic story. Damn. They take him back in time. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> and make him French? Make him French. Man, it really wasn't worth it for him. And put him on death row in Louisiana. Oh, it's Louisiana, man. by the way, just so you know. Man. Wow, it kind of makes Air Bud seem like an asshole a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as he's, you know, he's laughing at Percy as he's walking by. Percy takes his stick. Crack breaks his fingers. Oh, Jesus. And Dell's like, ah! And then he goes, God damn it, Percy, off my block! And Percy kind of strolls off with a smile. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just a piece of shit. At all levels, immediately. Yeah. The and, acting in this. Yeah. He, he is a, the dude and is he's amazing. He's a little guy with power. So Just he's like, ah! You hate, uh, dude can act. Mm-hmm. I mean, you hate him. Mm-hmm. So, there he goes, uh, the Dale guy, you know, the Dale is the name of the clown, right? And he's in yeah. the cell. He's like, ah, oh, he's screaming in for like French. And like, Dale, you just sitting there, be quiet. All right, we gonna get that hand looked at in a second. He's like, "Yes, sir, Bob. Yes, sir." Right. So the, the big, so John Coffee, he's fucking terrified. Right. He's just like, <laughs> and they go, "So your name is John Coffee, huh?" And he goes, "Yes, sir." Like the drink, just not spelled the same. And Paul's like, "Oh, you can spell." No, sir. Just my name, boss. Okay. Well, my name's Paul Hedgecomb. All right. And then he says, like, the name of the other guy is brutal. This is Dean. You know, he's like, uh, if you need anything, if I'm not here, you ask any of these men. And then they all look at him. And they're still looking at him like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah right. And then uh, they go, Paul, Tom Hanks goes, you have any questions? And John Coffey looks around. Bro, uh, Michael Clark Duncan, I mean, it's crazy he didn't win the Oscar for this. Though. I mean, he is unreal. Yeah, I wonder who he lost to. So he looks around. He goes, you leave the light on after bedtime? And they look at him like, what? He goes, I get scared in the dark sometimes. And Tom Hanks is like, uh, I'm, yeah, we always keep a few light ohms out in the corridor here. It never gets too dark. And John Coffey's like, okay. And then he holds his hand out, like to shake his hand. Mm. And the guards kind of look at him and like, they go like, no, don't. And he's like, and he shakes his hand. Okay. And as he's shaking his hand, John Coffey leans in and he goes, I couldn't help it, boss. I tried to take it back, but it was too late. Uh, uh, what, what did he do? Tom take? Hanks closes the cell. Mm-hmm. He lays down. He just walks off kind of like confused. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, what are you talking about? Mean, right? yeah. So they get in the office, and they're just shitting on how much they hate Percy, how much he sucks in this, right? And uh, like all the guys, and they're talking to, and then Paul goes, all right, well, enough of that. Let's talk about this inmate. And then they all start talking. The dean guy's like, I think he's mm-hmm. retarded. Maybe he's got kind of slow. The light's off. They're kind of like, what is, you know, what's going on? And then uh, one of the guys goes, well, it doesn't matter what he's scared of. He deserves to fry for what he done. And then Paul, the, Paul's like, what do he do? And then he throws the papers on his desk, like, read it for yourself, Captain. All right. He cuts to, he's reading it, like, right? And then we cut back to a barn, Okay. And you hear a woman go, ah, like scream at the top of her lungs. 
and we see, remember the man I said from the beginning of the movie, he saw yeah. some cloth and yeah. like yelled, like, and everybody started yelling with the dogs and shit. You see him, and he runs in his house, and he's like, what the hell are you screaming for, woman? And she goes, baby, the girls are gone. The girls are gone. And he's like, oh, my God. God, son, and his like fucking twelve year old son comes in. He's like, the girl, grab the shotguns. They fucking load up the shotguns. The fucking son looks at. He's like, he headed west. He's like, we're headed west. He's like, call him, call everybody. They fucking take, bro. I mean, you are now locked in because it's like, oh, because the dude can, whoever this nigga, he, it's like, oh shit, feel, you feel it, bro. She's calling. She's like, the girls are going. She's, this lady's calling people, right? Cut to it's a whole search party. The search party that we saw. Right. That's why you hear the dogs. Everybody got their guns. You hear Cora. Katie, what you heard in the beginning of the movie, right. Cora, you used to keep hearing it, Cora, Katie, you see the dad screaming, he fucking runs up, he looks on the ground, he sees one of their dolls, he fucking like, he starts like panicking, right, he looks up and he hears just a deep voice going, ah, ah. he looks, it's John, John Coffey, he's, and he's holding two bloody just bloody little bodies. Oh in his god! Lap. Just blood, bloody as fuck little bodies, and he's screaming and crying at the top of his. Ah! Ah! Right, the fucking dad. He's like, start, you know, he's looking at it, and then it cuts back to Tom Hanks, and he's just like, Jesus! And then he flips the page, cut back to he's the guy runs up, he's got the shotgun in his hand, and they're like they're screaming at him, you know. Right. He's like, ah! And he runs, he's like, hey, and then he falls. And so the shotgun falls out of his hand, and then he just fucking gets up, and he keeps running, and he fucking, yo, yeah, kill you, starts fucking decking, I mean, obvious, I mean, right. boom, 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 I'll kill you, I'll kill you, ah, he just fucking hit him, and then they get him, they finally get him off of him, and then his son's like, oh my God, this is what gets me, the son is crying, pop, 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 and then he, he's holding his son, and he's just screaming, dad, risk, you know, ah, you know, and then the fucking, you cut to John Coffey, and he's still, he's crying, he's like, ah. And he looks up at the sheriff who walks up on him, and he goes, he's holding the little girls. I couldn't help it. I tried to take it back, but it was too late. The guy, boy, you under arrest for murder, spits in his face. Cut to, he's like finishing the papers. And he's like, what the fuck? That last line. You know what I mean? I tried to take it back. It's too late. Jesus. Right then the this warden is, comes up. This is not a feel good comedy, huh? The <laughs> warden is all it's the same nigga who's always the warden in every movie. He's the warden in the longest yard. He's the warden in everything. And uh, he's the nigga in LA Confidential. He's a uh, Dudley. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh for, the same guy who plays Hoggett. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, bro, he's always that guy. Yeah, who is uh, what is a farmer, but if not a warden for animals. Well, uh, bro. Yeah. Preach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the warden. I told you, every, I did you, everyone in this is an amazing character. Okay. You, you recognize everyone. Okay. So, uh, Paul looks at him and he goes, Warden. He goes, How's your wife doing? And the warden goes, She's not well, Paul. Not at all. Taking her to the hospital tomorrow. I'll run a few tests in Pittsburgh. But, you know, I'm scared to death, Paul. And then he goes, uh, Well, Paul looks at him and he's like, Well, I hope, boss, I hope it's something they can fix. And he's like, Thank you. He goes, Why are you here? Well, Paul, I'm sorry to do this, but I got an angry call, you know, from me. And, and like Tom Hanks goes, oh, because he already know. He's like, oh. and he goes, did you order Percy off the block? And he goes, yes, I did. And he goes, well, that man you ordered off the block, as you know, Paul, it happens to be the ne- you know the uh, the governor's nephew. Ah, oh, he's one of these pieces of shit. Uh, That's why I was like, dude, uh, I told you, this is the kind of villain you just, you're like, this is real life. (laughs) Oh, I hate this guy. This is just what happens in real life. This guy fucking sucks. Yeah, nothing's worse than like the boss's son or whatever who has no idea the reason why he's there is because he's the boss's son. And then he's a piece of shit. Yeah. But then like, yo, evil on top of it, like this guy. And it's just like, 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 I deserve to be here. I'm never going to get get out of here. No one can tell me what the fuck to do. My my, my aunt's the governor of Louisiana. Yeah, yeah. Probably uncle, probably not aunt. No, uh, go- no aunt. Governor's a woman. Yeah. In the thirties. Yeah. Damn, good for her. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, no. I'm sorry. The governor's a man. The wife. Okay. Governor's wife. Okay. Nephew. That's sorry. The, that's the thirties. I know. So he called her, but that's yeah, the yeah. call he made. Okay. All right, and still, I mean, enough power. To, I mean, clearly the. Oh, yeah. I mean, 
the governor's wife, you have her or you have the governor's heir. I mean, yeah, and also yeah. something like this, yeah, he's gonna call and be like, hey, don't mess with my nephew. Yeah. Period. Yeah, yeah. Let him do what he wants. If I hear from him again, you're all fired. And that's where and he has the kind of power where you're like, fuck. fuck. <laughs> you know? If the warden's gotta come talk to you about it, this kind of power is like Jesus, you complain to your aunt immediately? Immediately. Yeah. He sucks. Yeah. Oh, oh you hate this nigga, son. Yeah. Prepare for hate, like prepare for the visceral hate where you're like, I'm gonna go fight this nigga. You Damn. know what I mean? Damn. Joffrey shit. Joffrey shit. He's on that Joffrey shit. Oh. He's on that Joffrey flow. His name's Percy. <laughs> That's a Joffrey ass name. Oh, is it? Yeah. Hair? How do you think his hair is? Oh, God. Is it like bleach blonde? Bleach black, slicked. Slicked. Ooh. Ooh. That, dark, that, uh, that, that, like, not real like, black. Like greasy. Yep, 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 yep. Mm. Jet black, where you're okay. like, oh, I hate this fucking guy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Kind of looks like, does he kind of look like Randall from Monsters Inc.? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Just a, p- and he's little. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I had so all those got things. got that Napoleon complex. Just, uh, oh, you hate this guy. Okay. A little Hitler kind of motherfucking vibe. You know what I mean? You're just like, oh, look at this motherfucker. So just all the confidence in the world. That's why the actor did a good job, because all the confidence in the universe. Mm, yeah. So, uh, you know, he goes, you know, uh, you know, his aunt called squealing, whoop de whoop and uh, Tom Paul goes, oh, my goodness. He goes, well, Warden, did he mention also to his aunt and the governor that he broke three fingers on an inmate for no reason? And the warden's like, well, no, I didn't hear that part. And he's like, of course you didn't. That man is dumb, and he is, uh, he is that man is mean, and he is dumb. And Warden, that's a bad combination for this place. I thought that was a good line. Mm-hmm. For like a death row, he's like, oh, that is a, yeah. To have somebody working there, me, it's like, hey, bro, we, mean or dumb. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're dealing with. I get that we uh, can't hire so many people, but mean or dumb. High, high stress situation. Death row. Mm-hmm. With no games. Everybody's like, also, if you're Tom Hanks, you're like, hey, man, my men's lives on their line every second of every day. We yeah. can't fuck around yeah, here. Yeah, we're, we're locked in a cage with people who have nothing to lose. So we have to be per- P's and Q's mm-hmm. at all times, no matter what. There is no mistake. There's yeah. no room. Also, Tom, oh, I mean, I, I don't know if you know this. Tom Hanks is unreal in this. What? That's not he his vibe. He is not the nigga from Castaway. Yeah. He is not Forrest Gump. He is not saving private. You know what I mean? He is, it's like, damn, this nigga can I'm die. I own the 90s. Owned them. Owned the nineties. He really. This is ninety nine. He owns the nineties. Yeah. Just movie after hit. Also like critical success and box office success mm-hmm. into the same movie, which is like so hard to do. That's Leo. I mean, that's so hard to do to do critical and a box office success in one movie, and to do it like you to do it time after time after time after time. And then to do it not at the same level, but to do have movies like that in the two thousands too is kind of just crazy. Yeah. Two thousand tens. All the way up to now, I mean, just two, Toy Story 4. I mean, Toy you're Story still Story, yeah, cashing Captain them. Phillips. And- yeah, ca- yeah, cashing and checks and making good movies, bro. Yeah. So, uh, you know, he says that, and he goes, uh, I have authority. You know, this time he goes, I have authority. The person's up for a better job. And then the guy, the warden's like, well, then why is he still here? And Paul's quiet for a second. And he's like, you know what I think, boss? I think he just wants to see one cook up close. And he goes, Really? He goes, yep, I know that's what he wants. That little motherfucker. Like, you know what I mean? At least right. that little bastard. I know he's what he wants. And then the warden looks at him. He goes, well, then he'll get his chance, won't he? In the meantime, keep the peace, Paul. And the warden walks off. He's like, oh. like you know what I mean? Like, fuck, you know? Right. Also, him and the warden are cool. So you're like, oh, god damn it. Because also, it's like, damn, this nigga's my friend. Because he wouldn't come over here and say, he, oh, the, the first thing they talk about is the wife. You can tell they're friends. Right. You know what I mean? But it's like, oh, this nigga wouldn't come over and say something if he's like, bro, it's the governor. This is, this is work. This is also work it's related. The governor. It's, yeah. I, and he's, unless it's the, it's only uh, that many niggas higher above him. So it's yeah, like, yeah. I don't know what you want from that, me. That was the warden telling him, like, hey, I'm the HNIC. Yup, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, I know you run death row, and yeah. I trust you. Uh-huh. But I have to fire you if, I have to, if this little fucking prick complains too much. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. So he comes home to his wife, Bonnie Hunt. Okay. <laughs> it just never is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, you know, he's like, he tells her he's like, it's later that night, and you know, he comes downstairs later that night, right? And he tells her he he can't sleep, and uh, she said, you know, he says how they had a new inmate, you know, and the kind of evil he done, he's done, it just keeps you up at night because he's thinking about what he did. And she offers, tries to offer him sex and like tries to make some love to him. And he's like, I can't, honey. She's like, why? She's like, come on. She's like, I can't. He's like, I, can't. I don't want to pass what I got to you. You know that. I love you too much for that. And she's like, oh. Right? And then she's like, well, let's, you got to go to the doctor. And then he does a whole old man, 1935. Like, I don't need no doctor. I'm not going to no doctor just to get some bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. goes off. And, mm-hmm. she, and she's just like, total, like, oh, my God, I'm married to a fucking man. It's funny how that kind of, like, that never goes away. Dudes no. just don't go to the doctor. Nope. Until we're about to die, maybe. This nigga couldn't pee. Yeah. And is still refusing to go to the doctor. He can't. But you know, bro, I can't piss. I'm going to the doctor. 
It's a couple things that yeah, I'm going. <laughs> you know, my leg hurts right now like a motherfucker. I'm still haven't gone though. Nah, there's no point. Definitely should go. <laughs> it's definitely a problem. <laughs> it's my leg. You know, you, have to, you need it for walking. <laughs> yeah, do ya? Just man it up. Man up. Just All hop right. around. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Uh, so Paul and Dean the next day they're cleaning the old chair right on the mile mm-hmm. and uh, brutal. The big dude calls him over and he, he goes, "Hey, y'all got to come look at this." And they come out and there's a mouse. Right, it comes right off the bottom of the solitary confinement room, down the end of the hall. So the hall, just so you can get a visual of it, right. it's like four cells on each side, a solitary confinement room at the end of the hall. Okay. All right, and that's it. There's no that it doesn't go any. It's it a ends. small, yeah. All right. So yeah, as you walk, that's it. So it's a small co- room. You come down the hall, and then like down the other room, you got where the grid, where the chair is, and another room for uh, execution. Okay. So it's a small little building. Mm-hmm. It's E block. All right. So. He, uh, you know, they're looking at this mouse, and like they, the mouse comes right up to him, and they're like, all like, get out of here! Look at this cute. I mean, mouse is adorable, bro. Right. Most adorable mouse you've ever seen. And they're looking at it, and then they throw a crumb, and the mouse eats the crumb, and then it runs back into the little solitary confinement room, and they're just all like, get the fuck out of here! And then Tom Hanks, always working, goes, you know what he's in there doing? Chewing that pattern right out of the walls. <sighs> well, all right, let's get the goddamn mouse. And then cut to there pulling all the junk. It's just all this junk. Out of the room, right? And they got the young guy, Dean. He's watching the doors there. And it takes him hours. I'm trying to pull all this shit out of the solitary confinement room. They finally pull it all out. They look around. Mouse is gone. Ooh. And they start yelling, Dean, did you let that mouse get, mouse get past you? It's like, I, I swiped him right here. The mouse didn't come out. I promise. And they're like, oh. And then the brutal guy's like, three grown men outsmarted by a goddamn mouse. They have to put all the shit back in the room. Mm-hmm. Cut to the next day. Mouse strolling down the hallway again. Percy's on patrol this time. Uh, the guards see him, and Percy's like, little son of a bitch. And they're like, hey, Percy, don't, because he's about to, they go, stop. And they go, let's see what he does. And it's the other like guy, the other, like, there's two guys, uh, there's Brutal and Dean, Okay. Right, you get to know them, right. those, those are his two main guys. And then there's another guy who's a great character actor, who when you see him, you'll recognize him, I forget his name in this movie. Mm-hmm. That's his other guy, right? Okay. That's his third in command, and then there's a fourth guy you don't really see at all, and that's his fourth in command. Okay. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So you got these and others. Percy's below them. And then Percy's the, Number five. Okay. All right. So Percy's on patrol with these two dudes, uh-huh. and they're telling him, "Hey!" And they throw some crumbs at him, and the mouse is eating them again. And they're like, "Look at this mouse! They're loving it, right?" And then Percy goes, "You little motherfucker!" And he throws his stick at it, and he's trying to stomp, and he's yelling, "You little vermin! I'll stomp your life out!" And he's running, trying to get it, and the mouse runs back in the room, right? Right. And so fucking Paul and Brutal hear this from outside, having their lunch, and you know they don't have rated walkie talkies, so they run in. Like, oh, my God. And they fucking run all the way in. Because this they still have this kind of phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. The rotary. That's it. Yeah. So you he, ever they, use one of those? Huh? Have you ever used one of those? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, this is a fun way to dial a number. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I couldn't imagine. I was watching. When you, when you see them run in, you're like, oh, wow. I can't imagine mm-hmm. working in prison this time because there's no. You just hear commotion. Right. So you they run in guns. They're like. You, you have, you, it's like that would be crazy to always be on like that on edge. level. You're just, on edge constantly, and there's no way to communicate. You no. just you hear some shit. You got to be like, oh, lunch, lunch is over. Yeah, you know. So they run in and they're looking at Percy and they're like, oh, but you know, he's just like this fucking goddamn mouse. He's cussing as he's cleaning out the room. Like I'm gonna fucking kill it, right? And then the brutal guy's like, Percy, we did that. And then Tom Hanks like, ah. and then he looks at him like, and then Brutal's like, you know what? Knock yourself out. Kill the bastard. You know, so he finally hours go by. He pulls everything out, and then he's looking for him, and he's gone. And Percy's like, "What the?" F-? And then uh, Tom Hanks and Brutal walk up, and they go, "Percy," and they're calm. Do you ever think about what you're doing? And he goes, "I'm trying to get the mouse. Ain't you? Bl- you blind or something, right?" And then Tom breathes, and he goes, "But you scared the inmates." And then Percy's like, "So what?" We all ain't got to treat them like they're in cradle school like you, you know? And then he goes, that's Percy. We don't want to scare them. They are men under strain. Men under strain snap. That, he goes, and that's why our job is, and he looks at him, he goes, talking. And he tells he's trying to keep himself calm. Right. Right? And then Percy talks some more shit like, ah, oh, that's your, I'm not going to fucking treat him like that. And then right then he goes, man, why don't you just kiss my ass? And the brutal guy fucking, boom, picks him up, snatches him. And then uh, the Percy, go, Percy guy, all, that's why you hate him, all the confidence in the world. Do it. Do it. You'll be on the bread lines before the end of the week. Do it. And fucking, and, and Tom Hanks has a comment because Brutal's like, also it's the Great Depression. I, yeah, I thought that line meant a lot. You got to have you, a job. You got to have a job. 
it meant something now. It's like, bro, that's a that's a tricky position. Because Brutal's like, hey, A, you don't talk to your boss like that, my captain like that, and my homie like that. Right. And B, like, who the fuck you talking to? Period. But, but And then Tommy's like, but Tommy's laughing but because yeah. he's also like, oh, I get it, Brutal. Yeah, but you got <laughs> But I, I need you. You're you my boy. Job. I can't lose you. Yeah. We've been best friends for a long time. Can't do this. You know what I mean? Crazy. So he, he, he puts him down, and he goes, like, right? He goes, your brother. Crazy. And then Paul stops him. He goes, uh, and then Paul, he kind of, he, he, he brushes off Percy's shirt, and he goes, we all know about all your connections, Percy. But let me tell you something. You threaten a man again on this block, me and you will have a go. And Percy looks at him all scared, and Tom Hanks is like, job be damned. Right. Uh, yeah, well, you're like, and Percy gets up. Percy's like, because you can see him like, oh, fuck. I gave you one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. You get one. Yeah, I'm, if he's willing to lose his job over this, then I'm fucked because I've been acting like an ass. <laughs> also, these dudes are way bigger than me in men. Yeah, they're yeah. Men. Tom Hanks and him are men. They're men. They're men in this, bro. They're fucking, they don't fuck around. Yeah. The brutal dude when you see him definitely don't fuck around. Right. He's they've, huge. They've been there for a while, too. so They, they, they know how to deal. They've, yeah. they've, they've seen the worst niggas, bro, and you ain't one of them. Yeah, yeah, it's fair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You ain't you what scares me. When it comes to like violence, you ain't my worry here. No, yeah. You're my worry to incite violence. That's why I'm worried about you, Percy, because you can get this shit started and get one of my men hurt. Yeah, and now there's a guy on death row who's a bigger dude than your biggest dude. So it's a big problem yeah. if he gets a little excited. And it'll be a person like you to do it. It won't be one of my guys Mm -hmm. because they know how to fucking handle this job. Also, uh, when men are on death row, uh, they're way more uh, calm and patient and like uh, you can deal with them way easier than the dudes apparently who are like there for 20 years or 30 years or or 15 years on parole. And anyone who anyone apparently who has the chance of hope. Yeah. Are way harder to deal with the men in prison that than the guys who are there. But sense. doesn't mean, but the guys who are there, if they do snap, they have nothing to. It's a different. So you got to keep that guy. You got to keep him in that place. An animal backed into a corner is a dangerous animal. And so that's why I was like, all right, if you can keep this animal docile, and this animal somehow accepts that this is what it is, mm-hmm. which is what a lot of these guys do, because right. they're in, like death bro, you 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 know what it is. But I still have to keep. I, I don't need to treat you like a guy who's gonna be out. Like, well, no, I, need, I can't. Like you're already back into a corner, so I can't like antagonize you. I'm just gonna be nice you. to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna die soon. Yeah. You're gonna die soon. It ain't, it ain't even my problem. My job is just to make sure you stay calm and don't hurt none of my guys until you die. That's my job. And I got a little fucking Joffrey running around. Who's ah oh, fucking nephew of the governor. I'd be so mad. So uh, you know, he, he looks at him and Percy's all scared. Mm-hmm. And then he goes, put all this shit back in the in the solitary room. You're cluttering my mind. And he laughs, and they walk off, right? And Percy's like, and he starts putting all the shit back. So cut to the next day, an inmate's, like an inmate's uh, daughter and family, like, hey, you know, Mr. whatever guy's name is, your daughter and family are here. And he's like, oh, he smiles, and then they take him out to go see his daughter and his family. Right. Right? And right when his door closes, Tom Hanks turns around and he goes, all right, boys, we got 30 minutes. That's enough time for two rehearsals. Let's go. All right, so they bring in the janitor dude, and then they run through. They do this; they run through the fucking like a game, bro. Like walk through it, a execution, okay. just to make sure they don't fuck up. They get it right. Every, they have all their they don't mess up. So they're doing the whole thing, and the guy doing it is the janitor, right? And he's kind of crazy, so he's like, "All right, everybody, settle down. Here we go, running through the Green Mile execution. Okay, here we go, stepping up, step forward." And he goes, "All right, stepping forward." He just repeats everything they said. Mm-hmm. They go, "All right, is his head shaved?" And they go, "Cause they normally would shave your head to make sure you're bald." And he's like, "No, his guy's head's not shaved." He goes, "Nope, all right, we're walking the mile." They start walking down. We walking the mile. The guy's saying it, walking the mile, walking the mile. Now I'm walking the Green Mile. You take me into the prayer room, getting on my knees, praying. Hey, sorry for all the bad shit I did, Lord. My bad. Sorry about that. Okay, back up, walking the mile. <laughs> like he's just. This is all funny. he just you know, it's a, it's, yeah, yeah, he's just saying funny. it, right? And then they sit him down. He's like, all right, sit me down, sit me in the chair, and old Sparky. They start tying him up, tying me up, tying me up. Percy's like asking, Well, what do I do? And then Tom Hanks looks at him, just shut up, watch and learn. He's like, oh, all right. So he goes into the back. So they strapping him to the chair. He's like, getting wired, getting clamped, getting all electrode. And then Brutal starts reading his rights. You know, so you know, whoop, whoop, you know, uh, like you know, says all like the lines, right? And then uh the, the guy goes, you know, do you have any, and the brutal goes, do you have any last words? And the janitor dude says something that makes the whole crew bust out laughing. Everybody. Everybody busts out laughing. Like, Paul, smi- Paul smiles. Yeah, yeah. But he doesn't, he doesn't laugh. He smiles. And then he, everybody still keeps laughing. He goes, all right. All right. All right. Shut up. And everybody gets quiet. He goes, hey, remember, this is an execution. We have a job. Can't be fucking around with this. 
And then they all, and then they all go, sorry, boss, sorry, boss. He's like, I don't. Last thing we want is uh, tomorrow. This, you know, tomorrow night this comes and people are here. And then one of you remember what the old toot says and you start laughing, cracking up again. That kind of shit happens in church. It will not happen here. And then Brutal's like, yes, sir. You're right, boss. I, it's the respect too of like, mm. you're right. My bad, boss. It's a lot of heavy it. stuff let's that's happening. It. Yeah, let's. Hey, mm. I get he made you laugh. Shut the fuck up. Let's go. You know what I mean? It, it, you're, it's like, damn, what a job. You have to be like, hey, we ain't no jokes, bro. Ain't no fucking jokes. That bro. is that is weird that you get paid paid by the state to kill people. Some PTSD for your ass later yeah, on, right, bro. Yeah. Oh my God. So, you know, they all apologize, you know, and then the guy goes, All right, soak in the sponge. And the guy soaks the sponge, puts it on his head, straps it on my head, straps it on my head. And the Percy dude's in the back talking to the guy who actually hits the switch, right? He yeah. goes, Man, why do they put the sponge on his head? And the guy tells him, oh, it's what brings the electricity to the brain. You need the wet sponge so it all goes straight to the brain and not everywhere. He goes, you ever, can't ever, ever do it without the sponge. Ever. And person, like, okay. So cut to, you know, they go you know, back to Brutal. And he's like, Arlen Bitterbuck, electricity shall now be passed through your body until you are dead. You know, because of the governor of the state of Louisiana, may God have mercy on your soul. Roll on, too. And the guy goes, like, he fake cuts it on. And then he looks at him, he's like, and that's how we do it, right? And Paul's like, all right, good run through. And then right then the two, the janitor guy in the chair, he starts pretending to die. He's like, God, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine like a goddamn turkey. Ah, this is a shocking experience. And he makes himself laugh. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, all right, took, God damn it. Let's strap, unstrap him. Let's try it again, right? They look up. As they're unstrapping him. They see the fucking mouse watching. They're like, look at that mouse. And they all start smiling. The mouth runs kind of down at the little beam up into another hole. And they're like, that little motherfucker, right? And they go back to what they're doing. Camera kind of fades out, fades back in. It's the next night. The execution room, all the chairs are set up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For like the family to come. Oh, someone's getting executed. Yeah, that's, you know, execution, like like in real life. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like, you know, they asked my aunt. Like, she's going to go when the dude who killed her son gets executed. Do, do you know when that's going to be? I don't remember when, but it's, 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 I mean, so far in the future. Jesus. You know, that shit takes forever. Though. That's heavy. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. yeah. I, I know she, I don't think my mom wants to go. I know, uh, I think my Aunt Tammy wants to go. A couple people want to go. Some people, some don't. I get mm-hmm. that. I don't know if, like, my my cousin Alton wants to go or any of them. I'm curious, because I don't know I, if I was them, if I'd want, I don't know how I'd feel. It's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Do you really want to watch this nigga die? But at the same time, maybe you're like, man, I got to see this nigga die. Yeah, so, you know, I got to. I got him? Yeah. He got to go. I got to see. If I can't do it myself, I need to visually see it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how, you know, but that's that's a real, this is a real thing that still happens. Also. Right, right. You know what I mean? It's uh, uh, just not electric, yeah, like I, electricity. Yeah, I wonder change. how, I wonder if it, I wonder how brutal it looks because I, I, I'm sure it looks brutal. I wonder how brutal Oh, the, I can't imagine watching the electric, like these yeah. people had to watch the electric chairs. Yeah, like, especially damn. that's like your dad. Well, no, it was uh, the people in there are the other family. Oh, okay. You, you, your family doesn't get to watch? I mean, yeah, but nobody's really there for them, the other family. It's always just the other okay. family. Very rarely are the uh, people there for the other family. But these people, th- this dude is actually yeah. guilty in this. Okay. The guy, they, so I, I bet, you know what's funny? I bet when a nigga's framed, I bet his family's there. Yeah. But when he did it, I bet his family is not there. If you wouldn't come, it's not something you want to see. No, that's fair. That's something Even if I don't think you did it, yeah, that's, that's not a, something I want to see. Yeah, yeah, that's heavy. Now you did it to my family, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm watching. I'm watching. You going? You you going down, Playboy? You know. So, uh, you know they they set up the you know now the room set up for real and cut to the guys are shaving the top of his head. You know the the dude who's getting electric, you know getting fried and shit. And it's like a circle, like what you know what a sponge would be. It's like mm-hmm. a ball patch. And the guy looks at as it's happening. He looks at Paul and he's like, "If a man repents, can he go back to when he was happy?" Paul's like, I don't know. And the dude starts talking about when he was most happy, when he was like 18 with the love of his life and how uh-huh. him and his girl made love by the campfire and how he thinks of that all the time and how that's when he was his most happy and he wishes he could go back. And then right then, Brutal walks up and he's like, sorry, but it's time. And the guy goes, <sighs> he gets all nervous and Tom Hanks grabs him. He's like, you'll do fine. You'll do fine. Cut to... The back, they're in the room, right? They're soaking the sponge. They're walking it over. The, you know, it's dripping all over the floor. Puts it all on his, puts it on his head. They strap it on. You know, they put the thing, the black sheet over his head. It's all then sticking out of this nigga's nose, right? Mm-hmm. Just black sheet all over his head. And they go, Arlen, Arlen Bitterbuck, electricity shall now be passed through your body till you are dead. May God have mercy on your soul. He steps back. He looks at the clock. His twelve. 
Roll on two. The guy fucking hits the switch. Everybody's just watching. And the guy, he drops, right? A doc, they have a doctor walk up. He puts the little heartbeat thing on his chest. Mm. And then the doctor looks up at Paul and he goes. And Paul's like. Oh. And then he looks at Brutal and Brutal goes. Again. Because he wasn't dead yet. Yeah. It begs the question. Why not just keep it on for a little too long? Man, bro. I don't know. You know what I mean? Uh, I think there's also like. Because they usually work so certain. Like you're like. Oh, just leave it on this long. It's always what kills people. And it's Clearly. Some, some, yeah. I mean, but no. Bodies. Are, some, some niggas. Some humans just ain't gonna go like that. Fool. Mm. People have a will to live. Like some people, oh. and some people die immediately. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So fucking, you know. Yeah, because also it was on a long time, bro. It wasn't like it's on, bro. The niggas. Yeah. <laughs> you know, right. So you you would think he's dead. He went dead. They hit it again. Yeah, they all watching as he fried. Mm. Right. Cut to he's down in the basement area. You see him. He's all fried. He's dead. Mm. Percy's over his body, talking shit over his dead body. Well, amigo, should have did what you did, huh? He's laughing, all that. Brutal walks up, fucking pushes the shit out of Percy. Hey, he paid what he owes. He's square with the house. So you keep your goddamn hands off, like, bro. Brutal favorite Damn. character movie. Oh, you Damn. love Brutal because Brutal a, keeps a hundred. What a what a dope line. He paid what he owes. Square with the house. Yeah. So you fuck. Keep your hands on. He puts the sheet over him and he like looks at him and then he pushes the body like down slowly, right? Mm-hmm. And then he's so mad. Because also, it's just like, hey, bro, respect. This is a di- respect, bro. This nigga did. Hey, he, he did. Also, it's like, hey, bro, he did what he had to do. He took his fucking punishment punishment like a man. He didn't fucking cry. He took it like a man and didn't beg, didn't plead. You know what I'm saying? He just just fuck, took it. Took it, knew what he did was wrong. He He's square. If there is a, like, I, he's like, man, if there is a heaven, that's what you're supposed to believe. That he's there. That's yeah. what it's, that's what it's supposed, that's the whole point of it. It's the whole fucking he paid, point. He paid his dues. He paid his fucking dues, man. So. Uh, you know, so Percy, as the brutal walks off, he looks at Tom Hanks, and he's like, "What's up, his ass?" And Tom Hanks is like, oh, "You, Percy, always you." And Percy's like, oh, "Whatever." And he goes, you know, he, and he starts talking to him about his good job. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Why won't you take that good job up at Briar Ridge, the mental hospital? You know, you can easily get a job there. You know, you can get way more pay. This, that. You won't take it. Why?" And then he goes. Percy's like, I want brutal spot for the next execution. I want to be out front. I want to talk. Tom Hanks is like, I knew it. You just need to smell someone's nuts cook. Just one time. And then he goes, he like goes to walk away. And then and then Percy's like, just once. Just one time. And you're rid of me, I swear. And Tom Hanks is like, and if I say no? And Percy's like, well, maybe I'll stick around for good. Boss. Paul just walks off. But you just, the confidence good, on Percy is just like. Chip. But I love that he knew it. He's like, oh, I know what this nigga, he's evil. Yeah. I know what this motherfucker wants. Mm-hmm. He just wants to kill somebody, bro. It's a legal, it's a legal way it's to a kill somebody. It's a legal way to kill somebody. And he wants to see it. He wants to do it. He wants to feel that rush. I mean, the power, oh my God, to kill somebody, the rush, if you're like, if you're looking you're for a, it, you're looking for it, nuts. You have to be, that's why I'm sure they hire you. You have to hire tame people like these people yeah. who are like, all right, man, we got to do evaluations and see who are these. We got to make sure that they're like mm-hmm. the but most you, level-headed. Yeah. But if you're a real psychopath, you can get past that easily. Oh, yeah. Per, yeah. Or, you're, uh, you know, your mom's a or your mom's a, yeah. governor or whatever the fuck. Yeah. So, cut to, we see John Coffey's in his bed. He's crying. He's crying mm-hmm. his eyes out. He uh, hears laughing, though. And he rolls out of bed and he walks up to the cell. Cut to Paul. Paul also hears laughing. He gets up and he goes, you don't see what he sees. And he walks and he goes and he gets the boys. Mm-hmm. And he's like, guys, you won't believe this. They all come out. They go look at Dale, the clown guy. Remember? Yeah. You know, Dale. He has the mouse on his shoulder. And he's just laughing. He's like, look. Look at that. I got to look at that. Right? And they're all laughing. He's like, watch, watch this, watch this. And he holds his hands out. Oh, this thing can act, bro. Yeah. And the mouse is like running across his arms. And he's laughing. And they're all smiling like, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? You know? And he goes, yeah, he's a small mouth. He's a small mouth, Mr. Jangles. He sure is. And they go, Mr. Jangles. And he goes, yep, that's his name. He whispered in my ear. You know? And they go, huh. And he goes, can I have a box for my mouse? And they go, wow, look at you, Dale. We notice your English gets real good when you want something. And he starts speaking, like laughing and speaking to himself in French. Yeah. And then uh, and he go, well, I don't want him to sleep with me. And then they go, he go, come on, come on, want to play fetch? Show him, show him, show him, play fetch. And he throws a spool, his little wooden spool. He throws it at the end of his cell. And the mouse fucking runs over there. Bro, this is real mouse in real life. 
I don't know how the fuck they get this mouse to do this shit. All right. This mouse rolls this stool back. Well, it if, stands up. If we know anything about this guy, he's great with animals. Give me some. That was my boy. Hey, bud. That's why we. That's why we have you on the podcast. <laughs> that's why we keep you. I've been trying to get rid of you. That's why we keep you. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I pitch it right down the middle sometimes, you know? Oh, sometimes, dude. You're fucking Randy Johnson. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> the mouse, great. The mouse uh, rolls it back to him, mm-hmm. you know, and, and then he looks at him, and they're all like, the fuck? Yeah, mouth dropped. Yeah. And he goes, he fetches it every time. And, you know, he go, and then uh, he goes, and then uh, John Coffey's watching from his cell, and he goes, Dale done got him a circus mouse. And he's like, yeah, you're right, John. It's a circus mouse. Mm-hmm. Right? And so uh, right then, Percy comes up. He goes, well, well, well. And he's smiling. And then Dale looks at him. Because, you know, he's still got his broken fingers in his cast, right? And he's like, don't you hurt him. Don't hurt him. And Percy goes, oh, come on, old Tommy. You know I don't want to hurt him. You know what we can do? Maybe we can get a cigar box for him. Line it with cotton. I think that'll do real nice for a bed. And then all the other cops look at him because he's being all nice. Yeah, he's like, like, what? Something's gone. He's like, what? And then he goes and he gets the bed, like, does it for him. Right. And they're all like. The fuck is going on? So, next day, Paul sees the warden, right? He goes and he sees the warden, Hal. Mm -hmm. And he walks in, and Hal's clearly been just crying. Like, he's like, oh, Hal, should I come back? He's like, no. We got to do some work. We got a new prisoner coming in. Problem child, apparently. Got Billy the Kid tatted on him. Killed three people in a holdup named William Wharton. One of the people he killed was a pregnant woman. He keeps crying. Tom Hanks is like, how? How? The warden goes, she has a tumor, Paul. Size of a lemon. Way down in her head. They can't operate. Bro, this nigga's acting so good. He goes, I haven't told her. For the life of me, Paul. I can't think how to tell my wife she's going to die. And he breaks down. And Paul just Puts his hand on, you know what I mean? Because he right. just, I mean, flooded, bro. Gets you too. Like, damn, bro, I, could, I wouldn't know either. And uh, so he cut to that night. Paul's just, he's in bed. And he's just staring at his wife, just like, say, you know, just thinking, like, you thinking that thought, like, damn, I don't know what I would say. Either. And then right then it hits him. He has to go to the bathroom. He's like, <laughs> and then he gets up out of bed, and he goes downstairs, and he runs outside, and he gets halfway. He's going to an outhouse, uh-huh, nineteen thirty. So yeah. so gets halfway to the outhouse, and he goes, ah, ah, and he falls, and he's like. Ah! And he just starts peeing, bro. And he's ah, ah! It's just, I mean, it nigga it makes you want to throw up. How visceral it is. Oh. Ah, 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 and he finally gets it all, all his pee out, and then he ah, passes out. That's how painful it was, bro. Jesus Christ! Outside. Oof. That's pain, bro. Oof. That's nigga. This is just scream. I can't imagine. Just from pee too. Screaming. Mm. And passed out from the pain. The next morning he wakes up and he's talking to his wife and he tells her he's going to see the doctor. He's like, I'm going to see Dr. Bishop today. She's like, really? He goes, yep. He's like, we got a new inmate coming in. After that, I'm going straight to the doctor. Mm-hmm. And she goes, is it that bad? He looks at her. He goes, yep. She's like, <sighs> cut to mental hospital. Mm-hmm. We see the new inmate coming in. Sam Rockwell. No way. Yeah, way. Sam Rockwell's awesome. Oh, do you think he steals the movie or something? Oh, wow. Because he's coming in halfway. Oh, wow. Do you think he steals the movie? Oh, wow. Wild. One of my favorite actors. He has a tattoo? Huh? You said he has a tattoo? Uh, Wild, wild, uh, the Billy the Kid tattled on his arm. Oh, wow. You know what's crazy is that like that used to be a mark of a bad guy. That's why it's such a big deal. Yeah. That's why he brings it up when he says it. He goes, has Billy the Kid tatted on his arm? I mean, he wouldn't say that now because it no. doesn't matter. But back then, it's no. like, it lets him know, like, hey, this dude might be trouble. And now if you got Billy the Kid tattooed on your arm, it's like, oh, what are you, it, it, Fucking lame? loser? Yeah. Fuck, what are you doing? Yeah. Billy the Kid? Guess yeah. that means something to you. Dude, Sam Rockwell is legit one of my favorite actors. Mm-hmm. Like I said, all this movie, all ca- the best had, character uh, actors. What's it called? The we, best character actors. We had the, we, we, with like Lockwood and Jake Deshroon and Gordon. We, we were watching, our friends? Yeah, yeah, our friends. We were watching a, uh, a, the, a, ba- a, movie, a movie yesterday. We were watching a bad movie. Did you get it out? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got it out. I got it out. We, got, we watched the 41-year-old virgin who knocked up Sarah Marshall. And oh, that movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Brian Callen is the star of yeah. that movie. Yeah, we, that's why we chose it, actually. We're like, oh, shit, we had no idea. Uh, but yeah, we were talking about who our favorite actors was, and he came up. Oh, Sam Rockwell. Sam man. Rockwell is. I, I mean, I, yeah. I, I say uh, uh, him and Gary Oldman are two of the best actors alive that no one talks about. 
Gary that, Oldman's that, a good person to put on that, that list. I, I think because yeah, uh, yeah. we, we, you know us, even us, we talk about uh, Leo, we talk about Bale, we talk mm-hmm. about Daniel. Mm-hmm. I mean, as we should, those are the guys. Right. But I mean, niggas like Sam Rockwell and Gary Oldman to me are nigga right there. They're amazing. They are unbelievable how good they can get into a character. You know, so Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell's there, and he's in the crazy mental mental inst- institution, mm-hmm. right? And his mouth's open, mm-hmm. and he just looks retarded and just drooling, right? Right. And then the Percy's there with the other like two cops, is Dean and the older guy. And then Percy's like, "This is the Hellraiser," and he kind of pushes him more like a limp noodle to me, right? And the guy's Sam Rockwell's drooling, you know. And Percy keeps talking shit to him, and then finally Dean's like, "Percy, shut up." And then they're like, oh, let's get him dressed. So they have to they have to completely get him naked and dress mm-hmm. himself. And he's just, you know. So finally, cut back to the thing. Paul comes out the bathroom just sweating, so sick. And he's just trying to stand up. And then, you know, the Brutal's like, you don't look good, boss. And then Dale's like, boss, you don't look too good. And then uh, right then you hear, he's like, yeah, I know, Dale. And then right then you hear uh, John Coffey go, boss, Edgecum, I need to see you, boss. And then he's like, I got, Paul's like, I got things, John Coffey. You just stay in your cell and you stay still. Okay. And he's just trying. He's just, he's just like, oh, my God. In so yeah. much pain. This nigga can act, bro. And then he goes, uh, so John so John gets up and he gets to the edge of his cell, right? As Paul's sitting there standing up as the they got the door open waiting for the new inmate to come in. Mm-hmm. And he's standing there and then he, hears, he turns because he hears something. And then it's John. John's right there on the gate and he's looking at him. He goes, careful. Careful. Tom Hanks is like, what? Careful. Right then they bring in the, the Sam Rockwell, and he's like this, and they start like uncuffing him, and he smiles. <gasps> Bam! Breaks the niggas behind him nose. Bam! Punches one dude. Wahoo! Starts beating niggas' asses. Yeah! And he's got Gene, Dean by like this, and he's choking the fuck out of him. And the Dean's like, the young guy and he's like oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And they're like, get off of him fucking Paul runs over and he fucking boom knees Tom Hanks right in the dick so Tom is out. down yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just fucking out right and he's like oh come on come on and then Percy's just like <laughs> standing all scared like a little fucking yeah when the chips are down yeah, yeah, bitch yeah. ass nigga Dean's getting choked out the old guy's nose is broken right the fucking Paul's just trying to get up and then uh uh he uh right then uh Tom Hanks finally gets up and he pulls out his gun and he goes, Wharton, I'm warning you. He goes, what's he going to do? He goes, what? And Sam Rock goes, what's he going to do? Huh? He goes, shoot me. Huh? What's he going to do? Come on now, boy. And then he, right then, uh, Paul Tom Hanks is like, Percy, Percy, move and hit him. God damn it. And Percy's like, and then right then, Brutal comes in and he sees what's going on. And he fucking grabs Percy's stick. And then uh, Sam Rock was like, what you do, you big fucker? Bam. He knocks him down. Sam Rockwell looks like him. He's like, like, where you come from? Bam, knocks him the fuck out. Percy's still like, you know what I mean? Dean, they finally get his hands off Dean, and Dean's like, Duh! <gasps> right? Dean's just trying to breathe. And then the old dude who has his nose broken. He's like, he looks at Paul. He's like, Paul, we didn't see it coming. We thought he, we thought he was doped. We all did. And they all like nodding their heads. And Paul, it's like, now he's on one knee. And he goes, well. You didn't ask? And then all three guys are like, they look at each other like, fuck. Damn. And then Paul goes, well, that's a mistake. We won't make again now, is it? And then right then, cut to, they all, they're all, like, the, the big dudes are throwing wild Bill in his cell. Dean's fucked up. The young dude, he's just, like, still trying to get his breath. Mm-hmm. And so Paul goes, all right, you guys, take Dean and Harry. The old dude with his nose broke. Take mm-hmm. Dean and Harry to get looked at. Percy, come here. You go talk to the warden, make the report. Doesn't need to be a story, just a report. Percy's like, oh, he's still all shook. He's like, okay, boss. And he, you know, he's even all like, yes, sir. Yeah, you yeah. know. And then Brutal's like, what about you, Paul? He's like, I got the mile. Don't worry. And Brutal's like, are you sure? He's like, I got it. You go on, take care of them. All right, so they all leave. The door closes right then. Paul, boom, falls on the floor. <gasps> just trying to breathe, right? <gasps> Uh, and then it's quiet, and then you hear, boss, I still need to see you down here. He goes, this is not a good time, John Coffey. Not a good time at all. But I need to see you, boss. I need to talk to you. 
Oh. <clears throat> Drags himself up. He stumbles over. What do you want, Dragoff? Closer. And then you hear Dale go, ooh, boss, you ain't supposed to be doing that now. Mind your business, Dale. He gets close. What do you want, John Coffey? Just to help. That's all. <laughs> Grabs him. Picks him up. <laughs> ah, and then Dale starts screaming. Ah, balls. Ah, he got balls. He John Coffey go kill balls. Help. Help. John Coffey go kill balls. What are you doing, John? Just trying to help is all. Grabs him by the dick. Fucking. Uh, of course, Paul, Tom Hanks is like, what? Because uh, he can't fucking. He's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Hell, hell, he got balls. He, he got balls. This nigga, the lights start getting real bright and he's looking at him. He's like, uh, Tom Hanks is like, what the fuck? The lights start getting real bright. Pop them. All them just pop, bro. And then he fucking lets go of him. Ah, somebody help. He killing balls. He killing balls. Dale, will you shut up? He gets quiet. Damn. Everything's so crazy because. He's in death row and he's got dick problems. Like, everything is like, Jesus Christ. Everything is a lot. <laughs> oh, dude. It, I told you, uh, when I say these three hours go by in two minutes, yeah, yeah, yeah. you will not be bored. This whole movie is on. You're going to be like, it, it, it's visceral. How oh, good? Okay. It's Shawshank Redemption. Okay. It's, I mean, I, it's, I mean, nigga, it, I, it's like this. Is Shaw, I mean, if, if Shawshank's here, this is the This is how close they are. You okay. can put them like, which one is a better movie? It's how good these fucking writing, story, ending. All, I mean, unreal. So, you know, he, you know he's, he's down on one knee. And he's like, uh, you know, he, he sits down, he starts coughing. And then he looks up and he goes, and all the black flies come out of his mouth. Oh, it's in the trailer. That's why you know it. That's a very famous shot. Yeah. And all the black uh, flies Tom's, come out of his mouth. Oh, no, of uh, Mark, John Coffey's mouth. John Coffey's mouth, yeah. Right? And he's like, and he's just, now he looks fucking exhausted. And John Coffey's looking at him like, he goes, what? What did you do to me? And John Coffey's like, I helped it. Didn't I help it, boss? I just took it back, is all. I'm awful tired. Dog tired, boss. When he passes out on the bed, mm -hmm. right? Paul's like, just holding his dick, looking around. Gets up, walks to the bathroom. Zzz. Oh my God. The. He, he has an orgasm. Nick. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't, but yeah, yeah. That must be the most refreshing piss. Oh, it, it's orgasm. Watching it, it's yeah. orgasmic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking, talk about a piss that fills you up. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, Great way to put it. Yeah, that's That a, is a piss that fills your heart. Yeah, it's like, oh, man, I feel full <laughs> I mean, after just, this piss. I mean, he just pees for so long, too. Right. I mean, obviously. Right. You're just holding the. You're just not peeing always. Right. Um,. <laughs> Knowing nothing about it, it's crazy that this is a plot point of the movie. Crazy, right? Yeah. This is a major like, plot like, point. What, what, what's a major theme of the Green Mile? Oh, like peeing and stuff? Urinary tract infections? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like peeing and stuff. Just a lot of peeing, huh? <laughs> God, not really. It's not a lot of peeing until not now. A lot, not a lot of peeing. <laughs> Actually, it's Actually, the opposite of a lot of peeing. Actually, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, he doesn't pee enough. That's a, lot, that's a that's, huge plot point. Yeah, he does not. Oh, and he yeah. wants to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's brutal. Oscars. <laughs> Jimmy, I'll do it. Is that you writing an Oscar? This, uh, this is good writing, though. This, this is, is like, nigga, you want to write something, write something that makes people go, what the fuck? fuck. Yeah. So uh, he goes home, mm -hmm. and he's like, hey, honey, how you feeling? And she's doing the dishes, not paying attention. She's like, oh, not too bad. And he's just staring at her ass, mm -hmm. you know? I remember they haven't had sex in months, nigga. Yeah. And she's like, oh, what did the doctor say? And he just smiles. He goes, oh, just a bunch of gobbledygook. And then she goes, oh, gobbledygook, like annoyed, you know, like, you fucking idiot. And then he walks up on her, and he starts undressing her and kissing her neck. She's like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, nothing. And then he starts like really kissing her. She's like, oh, oh. And then cut to outside of that window, just her, oh, 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 oh. Just he's bed, bam, bam. Tom Hanks is waxing it. Nice. Cut to next morning. Oh, oh, bam, bam, bam. Cut to, boom, she's on like that. He just came. He's on top of her. Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, Paul, nothing. I'm complaining. Oh. But we haven't gone four times in a night since I was 19. He's like, I know. Oh. And she's like, can you just tell me what's, oh, what's going on? He goes, I never. He raises up. He goes, baby, I never made it to the doctor. She kind of looks at him like, what the fuck do you mean, right? Like, 
Am I also what? Did yeah, you just come that in me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, it would have been hurt. It would have hurt if you did that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, so, cut to downstairs. He had just told her everything, right? Mm-hmm. Like they, had, and she's just kind of sitting there taking it all in. He calls brutal and everybody at work calls in six. Say he's not going to make it in that day. Right. Okay. He tells his wife he has to go do something. He leaves. He drives far to a house. It's the lawyer of John Coffey who defended him in court. Mm-hmm. That's whose house he goes to. Played by. Lieutenant Dan. Jesus. I told you, dude. It's everyone is like, oh, that's, a, that's one of the greatest character actors alive. That's crazy. That's crazy they're in the same movie again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he have legs? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has legs. He has legs, he has legs and he's a lawyer in this. Gary Sinise or something? Oh, he's like? amazing. Gary Sinise is one of the amazing character actors. Yeah, he's yeah. such a, He's so good. So, it's him and he goes, uh, you know, he's here. I'm here to talk about a client of yours. He's like, oh, which client? He goes, uh, John Coffey. And then, He's like, oh, is he causing problems for you down there? He's like, no, no, quite the opposite. He's, he's, he's great. He uh, cries a lot, you know, but, you know, that's about it. And then the lawyer guy goes, better. He better cry knowing what he did. And then right then the mom comes out. She's like, kids, come in for lunch. And then he's looking at Tom. He goes, what you want to know? And he goes, uh, well, has he done something like that before? The lawyer's like, no, apparently not. He goes, really? He's like, well, I mean, how far back did you follow? I mean, we could definitely follow his trail. A big man, his size, color, you definitely wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't go unnoticed. And the guy goes, oh, we tried. It was like the man dropped out of the sky. Couldn't find anything on him. But we're in a depression. I mean, even a man like Coffee could go unnoticed in times like this. And he goes, uh, well, he thinks, he goes, well, that is until you kill a couple little girls. He's like, huh. And then he goes, Paul goes, well, I mean, I just, what I don't understand is, there doesn't seem to be any violence in him. And I know violent men. I've worked with violent men my whole life. And he goes, uh, and the lawyer looks at him and goes, huh, you didn't come up here to ask me if he's done something like this before. You came up here to ask me if he did it at all. And then he goes, Tom's like, well, do you think so? The lawyer stops and he goes, well, he was found with the victims, you know? And then the, Tom he goes, yeah, he said, well, you, I mean, you defended him. He goes, well, everyone has the right to a defense. Okay. Tom's like, and the guy looks at him like, like, you really asked me this. And he leans forward. He's like, let me tell you something. I'll tell you a little story. Listen close. A few years back, we had us a dog. Now, it was a sweet mongrel. In a lot of ways, a sweet mongrel is a lot like a nigga. Get to know it. You can Who love is this, it. My mom. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> I'm like doing that. acting. My mom's like not that. real. My mom, she's a very nice lady. <laughs> Other than she says N words way too much. Yeah. So, so you go, sweet mom, a lot yeah. like a nigga in a lot of ways. You get to know it and get to love it. It's of no particular use, but you keep it around. Mm-hmm. I think it loves you back. Mm-hmm. So this guy likes black people. <laughs> of course. He goes, uh, my wife, my wife and I, we weren't so lucky. Come here, son. The son comes over, and he shows. He's like, "No, go ahead, show him your face." And he shows his son his whole face, and his son's missing an eye, and half his face is fucked up. Mm-hmm. He goes, "I'm lucky. He isn't completely blind." And we get down on our knees and thank God for that, don't we, son? The son's like, "Yes, sir." He goes, "That dog attacked my boy one day for no reason. Same with John Coffee. He was all sorry after, but those girls still say raped and murdered. My boy still doesn't have an eye." My dog never bit before that, but I had no concern of that. You know what I did, sir? I grabbed my shotgun, I grabbed him by the collar, and I blew his goddamn brains out. And he's looking at him. He goes, is Coffee guilty? Yes, he is. And don't you ever turn your back on him either. May get away with it once, may get away with it a thousand times. But in the end, oh, you're going to get bit. Paul's just like, that is a very astute observation about like human behavior. Not so much just black people. No, that's humans. But human, that, that's, not humans. Black people. that's humans. It's but humans. It's, it's not he's what he's saying. It's 100% right. If just you take out the black take people, take out the part, complete right. real harsh racism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> With the black people, there's only a seventh right. All like, right, a, God damn it. One of the seven races. There's like so many more races than that. There's like seven. Dude. There's like seven races. What do you think a woman is with a dick that also is a lizard? Huh. So exists, by the way. Eight races. <laughs> <laughs> what I said exists, by the way. Yeah. Does it? Yeah. 
You know how many people want to be lizards and like get like surgery to turn themselves into lizards? Yeah, that's I that's mean, real. Yeah, you think one of them is a transgender? Yeah, that's still out there race. Yes, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's still white. Dude, or black once you become a Asian. lizard, nigga, you ain't even. <laughs> you gotta give me that, bro. Once you say I'm a lizard, oh, you wow. don't. You ain't white. You ain't. Wow, you Derek, a lizard. Derek's racism is showing now, huh? Yeah, nigga, fuck lizards. <laughs> huh? All right. So. <laughs> Uh, it's also funny that people are like, oh, the government's all lizard people. It's like, nigga, we already have lizard people. Yeah. They're, just, they're called tattoo artists. Okay. Well, Usually most of the niggas that look like that do tattoos. <laughs> oh, I mean, if you if you make yourself look like a lizard, there's no way tattoos aren't involved. Yeah, you're a lizard man. Yeah. yeah Woman. Yeah. Whatever. Dick man. I don't know what you are. You're whatever you want to be, but you're a lizard. <laughs> so. Are you okay? No, <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> I don't want to be one so bad. Yeah. <laughs> so. Paul, uh, the next day, he's walking into the mile, right? Yeah. And it's the next morning, and he got something in his hand. He goes, hey, John. And John comes up to the cell gate, and he goes, John looks at it. He goes, I'm smelling me some cornbread, boss. He goes, that's right. My missus wanted to thank you. And then John's like, for what? Tom Hanks is like, you know, for, for helping. Helping what? He's like, he touches his dick. like, and He's like, oh. And he hands him the cornbread, and he's like, oh. And then you hear uh, Dale say, ooh, John, I smell that from here. And he's like, can I? It's such a sweet scene. He goes, can I give some to Dale and Mr. Jangles? And he's like, it's your cornbread, John. You can do with it as you please. And he gets all happy. And he, goes, he hands him two pieces. And then Tom Hanks walks over. Uh, no, uh, he, hands him two, uh, he hands him two pieces, right? And, like, he hands him two pieces. And then Wild Big goes, hey, I want some too. You going to give me some, boy? And then he looks at him. He goes, do I have to, boss? And he goes, it's, like I said, John, it's your cornbread. You can do with it as you please. And John's like, I think I'll keep the rest for myself. Oh, what? Dude, what a sweet man. <laughs> oh, the, I mean, dude, just admit. Yeah. Uh, say, I just, the movie's going to get you teared up a bunch because yeah. the acting is, even though you know it, it's one of those things, it's, it's the acting. It's just the, the powerfulness. I'm like, sweet wow. Man. And he goes back and he's eating his cornbread all happy. And he takes it over to Tom Hanks. He walks over to Dale and he's like, from the gentleman across the hall. And then Dale's like, oh, we thank you, Monsieur John. We thank you, thank you. Me and, me and Mr. Jangle, thank you. But he can't thank you himself. And he laughs, right? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, you hear Wild Bill go, hey. Don't you hold out on me, you big dummy nigger. And then right then Paul goes, hey, you will keep a civil tongue on my block. All right. And then a wild bill just goes, Doo! and spits on him. Tom Hanks goes, you get that one free. It's the last one. And he walks off. And then wild bill's like, oh, that is, that's my last one. Oh, all right. I'll get the next one up front. And like He's like laughing to himself, right? right? Cut to the next day. It's the old guy doing the checks on the block. And as he walks by Wild Bill's cell, Wild Bill pulls his dick out and starts pissing on his feet. And the guy looks at him like, what the fuck? And the other, you know, cause, and then Wild Bill's like, I got him. I got you, didn't I, boy? I got you. And he's looking at him. And then Paul and Brutal look at the old guy. And then Brutal, the old guy's like, that son of a bitch pissed on me. And he's like, yeah, I did. I pissed on him. I got some turds cooking up. <laughs> bro, Sam Rockwell's great, bro. I got him cooking. Mm, I'll get you to him later. Maybe tomorrow. Right? And he's laughing. Ha! And his teeth are all fucked up. So cut to, they all, like, all the police look at each other. And they start cleaning out the solitary confinement room again. And they're cleaning out while Bill's just talking shit. What y'all doing? Where y'all taking that? Huh? Huh? What y'all doing? Where y'all doing? Where you going with that? Huh? laughing. So then they walk up on his cell and they hold up the straitjacket. And while Bill just starts laughing. He's like, oh, okay. And he backs up. And he gets loose. He's like, come on in, boy. Come on. You're going to come in on your legs, but you're leaving on your backs. Ooh. Wild Bill going to promise you that. <laughs> come on. And he's all excited. And they open up the cell. And he gets excited. And then they move the straight jacket out the way. And it's the old dude holding the motherfucking fire hose. And he goes, piss on me. <laughs> Wild Bill's like, because it's like a real, real fire. fire. Yeah. Ah, 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 screaming for his life, bro. Ah, cut to them. Dragging him out the cell. He's not that. He's like, oh, please, boys, please don't put me in there. Please don't put me in there. They put him in the straight jacket and they stand him up. And he's like, please, please. And then he pretends to like have a seizure and like throw up again like he knows how to do it. And they're like, oh, don't fool with him. And they throw him in the thing, right? And they close the cell door. He's like, oh, come on, fellas. And it goes dark in his cell in the solitary confinement, completely black. And he goes, all I wanted was a little cornbread, you motherfuckers. And then it goes outside the cell. All I wanted was a little cornbread. 
<laughs> the shots are great, dog. Hours later, they open it back up. He's just sitting there in the middle of the cell. And he's like, he goes, I, I learned my lesson. I'll be good. Damn, solitary confinement must be hell. <laughs> Yo, oh I'll go for God. how bad of a man you are, bro. Oh that shit calmed him. Because he's like, he's so calm, nigga, yeah. docile. Yeah. Can, like, just imagine, just because I, I imagine now, like, the people who are living alone now, with all the stuff that they have, and the fact that they're allowed to go outside, some of them are fucking going crazy. Oh, dude. I can't imagine. Also, being... everyone in jail right now is in solitary confinement. Cause oh, you, yeah. uh, you're, well, not solitary, because you're in there with your cellmate, but you right. ain't, you, they don't get to leave their cell right now. Well, yeah, I'm going to say, like, an actual solitary confinement must be actual hell. Can't imagine. That must be actual hell. Yeah, yeah. being in jail right now, fool, during this corona shit, man, bro. Ooh, this is, it's ooh. a private institution, so the government yeah. don't give a fuck about you. No. So there's no, like... Mm-hmm. And it's not, one. It's one rich nigga making the calls. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's not like it's not like somebody looking out for their best needs is making the calls. And no one's ma- really making money right now. Like nope. the, the jail. So they're treating them like now, they, so they don't give a fuck. They don't give fuck. They're literally not giving uh, them outside. Investment. They're not giving them anything, bro. They're giving them a, three meals a day in their fucking cell. They can't go out and talk to each other. None of that shit. So yo, they're like some of these niggas who are in there just for like mm-hmm. selling drugs. I mean, yeah, the shit you shouldn't be doing, but like not solitary confinement shit. Like like some of these niggas like oh I'm gonna be out in like seven years or five years or whatever. And now they're in there like oh. Nigga, I haven't left this cell in a f- two months. Private prison is an evil co- uh, concept. I, 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 genuinely, I genuinely believe that uh, mo- like to, to want to own a private prison, you probably look like that Percy dude. Yeah. It's probably like your Or no, or the vibe. warden. Huh? The warden looks like an evil rich nigga too. Oh, the, way he, the way he, I mean, no, the way he he, looks, you know yeah, what he looks yeah, like. Yeah, what you talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that nigga looks like an evil rich nigga, dog. If you can, he can, he can look like a sweet dude or a evil rich nigga, but mm-hmm. the, the way his face is shaped, like, bro, you can be evil. All you gotta do is throw a suit on. So the janitor dude, he's sitting in the middle of the uh, the middle of the hall eating lunch, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, Wild Bill goes, "Hey Toot, I'll give you a nickel for that moon pie." And he holds out a nickel, mm-hmm. right? And Toot's like, "Okay," and he trades with him. And Wild Bill stuffs the whole thing in his mouth. So you see Brutal walking by, and he's doing all of his checks. And he looks at Wild Bill, and Wild Bill's like this, just mouth completely, fo- you know. Mm-hmm. And then Brutal's looking at him like, what the fuck? And then he just goes, Poof! and all the moon pie Poof! goes right on Brutal's face. <laughs> ah! And he's like, oh, look at you. You're a black little Sambo. Look at the black little Sambo. How do you do, little Sambo? Right? He's messing with him. Right, he's laughing. And Brutal goes, he just wipes the shit. And he goes, he looks at it. He goes, what you going to do? What you going to do? Cut to, he's screaming, no, no, don't put me back in this house. He's like, they're putting their dragon. He's all wet again and shit. Yeah. He's like, no. And they throw him back in the room. So, uh, you know, next day, the boys go get uh, Dale. And they open up his cell. And they're like, hey, Dale, you got some important folks coming here to see you. They heard of your mouth. Politicians from all over. They got to see him. And he's like, whoa, what? Really? And they're like, yeah, come on, bring your stuff. And he's like, you fellas coming? They're like, no, no, we got work to do here. But you go knock him for a loop, Dale. And then John, you hear John Coffey go, that's right, Dale. Knock him for a loop. He's like, oh, dang, you John. He's all happy. He walks off with, you know, the dude. And right when that door closes, they go, all right, guys, rehearsals. We got time for two. Oh, I mean, bro, that, how good is that? That, oh, that to that. Oh. I think that, I thought that was great writing, that yeah. to that. Like, oh, you know. So they start, you know, they start rehearsals and, you know, uh, cut to there's people in the room and, like, pretending to be politicians, even though they're just, like, janitors, pretending to be politicians and stuff. And then one guy's like, oh, why you got to have my suit on? He's like, oh, just pretend to be a goddamn mayor for two seconds. Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? And so Dale comes in and he sees all the people and he's like, he gets all scared, right? Cut back to Percy. He's giving the rehearsal speech. He does it perfect. Does it very professional. Everybody, Paul's like, looks at him. Does a good job. The rest of the crew is telling him how he did a good job. You know what I mean? And everybody's being chill. Okay. Dale comes back. He's all happy. Uh, he, they're like, how'd it go, Dale? And he's like, oh, they love Mr. Jangles. They laugh. They laugh. They laugh. Oh, they were so happy for him. And then they go, uh, and they're like, yep. And then Percy looks at him and goes, you done good, old timer. We're happy for you. And he's like, got a smile, evil looking smile. And Dale kind of gets quiet and doesn't trust him. He's like, come on. We're really happy for you. We are. And then Dale, like, like kind of breaks, like, like yeah, like yeah, happy. and then he goes, boo, and the dude, ah, and he like slips and bam, hits the back of his head, right, and then Percy just starts laughing, da, and they're like, God damn it, Percy, you asshole. And they pick up Dale, he's like, ah, he's like trapping the back of his head, and he's like, oh, come on now, you old numb wit, I was just playing, <laughs> you know, I was just playing with you, right then, Wild Bill, because he's laughing, Percy, and he's backing up, Wild Bill reaches out of his cell and boom, grabs him, and he goes, ooh, who's playing now, boy, and they go, oh, Wild Bill, let him go. 
Wild Bill, let him go. And he goes and he grabs Percy by the dick and Percy starts crying. And he goes, ooh, ain't you sweet? You soft like a little girl. I'd rather fuck your asshole than my sister's pussy. You know that? And he's holding his dick. What a line. That'll scare you, won't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd rather fuck your asshole than my sweet, sweet little sister's pussy. Crazy. Let you know what kind of man you're dealing with. That's for damn sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, Boundaries don't really mean a lot to this guy. No. No. Uh, uh, so he, fu- he, uh, he fucking, like, he, he let, they go, let him go, Wild Bill. And he lets him go. He's like, come on. He's like, oh, boy, don't put the guns on me. You know I was just playing. And he's looking at Percy, right? We was just playing, ain't that right? Because he's fucking, Wild Bill's, cra- bro, Sam Rocco, he is in gone. Right. Just like, oh, this is an insane, this is a, this is a, like. Just pure crazy. This is the Joker. Pure crazy. Pure. Chaos. Chaos in all forms. Agent of chaos. Agent. Like, no fucks yeah. given, no, I don't give a, I'll kill everybody, I'll fucking burn it all down, I don't give a fuck. So, uh, you know, he lets Percy go, and then uh, he goes, man, your noodle, he looks at a person, he goes, your noodle ain't so limp, lover boy, I can smell you from here. And then Percy looks down, and he's pissed his pants. He's pissed coming out of all his pants, you know what I mean? Dale can't stop laughing. Ah, look at look at what the big man does. Who big man done wet himself up? Ah, just laughing at him. And they're like, shut up, Dale. Shut up, right? He goes, ooh, someone, someone make wee wee in his pants. Ah, he's laughing, right? And then uh, right then Paul comes up and grabs Percy. He's like, hey, it's okay. And Percy goes, get off me. Don't, don't you touch me. And they're all, all the, the crew staring at him. He looks at them all. He goes, any one of you talk about this to anyone. I'll get you all fired. I swear to God I will. And then Brutal's like, hey, what happens on the mile stays on the mile. Always has. Tom Hanks like always will. Dale keeps on laughing. He looks at Dale. He's like, you keep on laughing. Just keep on laughing, you French fried faggot. And he storms out. And Dale's like, just keep, can't stop. He thinks yeah. it's so funny. Which I get. From Dale's point of view, fuck you, bro. Fuck, this yeah, is awesome. Fuck this guy. <laughs> fuck this guy. Awesome. This guy sucks. I get to, I get to see, you, see you belittled in like the most human way. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> So next day, the boys are talking to Dale about what to do with the mouse, you know, what you should do. And, and Dale's not liking any of their ideas. He's like, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. And he's, as he's playing catch with he keeps throwing the stool back. He's playing catch. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, oh, he doesn't like any of our ideas, you know. So finally, Brutal goes, well, how about Mouseville? You know, that tourist attraction down in Florida. And Paul looks at him. And he kind of looks at him like, you know. And then Paul goes, oh, yeah, that's down the road from the Dog University. And he's like, really? And then, you know, Dale's like, what's a Mouseville? Like, oh, you heard of Mouseville? It's a big tent. And, People pay 10 cents, 2 cents for the kids, and inside they have a whole Mouse City in the Mouseville All-Star Circus. And Dale's like, oh, that's the place. I told, bro, you love Dale. You, you go, that's the place. That's the place for Mr. Jangles right there. Oh, he'd be so happy. Oh, yeah. And he throws the stool, and the stool bounces off the wall weird, so it bounces outside of the cell. Yeah. And he goes, oh, there you go. And then Mr. Jangles runs outside, and he goes, and he gets a stool, and he starts rolling it back, and, nigga, you just see a shoe. Crunch! Camera up. It's Percy. Knew I'd get him eventually. <gasps> Dale. No! And he tries to run. They grab him. They have to grab Dale. He's like, no! No, you motherfucker! No! And then Paul's like, why? Why would you do that? And he's like, and he looks at him. He's like, I know I'd get him sooner or later. And he just, Percy just walks off. What a piece Tom of Hanks shit. Like, and now Dale's just going crazy. Because now you right. can't, he's uncontrollable. Now right. he's like, you fucking bastard! I'll kill you! No! No! And then right then you see a hand. The shot is you see a hand. Big black hand come out the cell. Give them to me. Might still be time, boss. Paul's looking at him. Like, of course, they're, the rest of the crew's like, what the fuck is he talking about? And then Paul reaches down and grabs him. And they go, Paul. Paul, what are you doing? Paul, you know? And then he's like, he, he grabs, he finally hands him to John. And they're all like, Paul, what are you doing? And then Dale goes, please, John, help him, please. And now they're looking like, the fuck? What the? Because Dale knows. So they're like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. You know? And Dale's crying, bro. The Dale, the dude can ask, please, Johnny, please help him, please. And then he goes, you hear uh, Brutal go, oh, dear Jesus. Because you see, he starts sucking in, and then Brutal goes, look at the tail. And his tail starts wagging. And the lights all still get, you know, you know, and they're, and of course, now these dudes are like, what the fuck? The fuck? <laughs> Boom, all the lights burst, right? And then he reaches back, and the flies come out, and they disappear. And then he lets them go, and the mouse runs right back to Dale. And Dale's like, just crying, thank you, Joe. Oh, thank you, Joe. And so, of course, everybody's looking, and Brutal's like, what? What did you do? 
I helped Dale Mouse. He a circus mouse. Got to live in the city, Mouseville. And they're all like, yeah, that's right, Chuck. He's like, bro, I'm ass. And he goes, boss person bad. Me, you step on Dale Mouse. I took it back. I'm tired, boss. He lays down. And you see Dale crying. Y'all see, y'all. Y'all see, y'all see. He's holding his, you know, kissing his mouse. Yeah. Mouse is really cute, by the way. It's not like, it's a mouse, bro. It's like, yeah. oh, it looks like Tom and Jerry. You know what I mean? Like a mouse, nigga. So, brutal. So, Paul, brutal, like, looking at Paul, like, the fuck just happened? And Paul goes, come with me. Everybody else get back to work. They're all like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I got to talk about this? <laughs> yeah, come on, man. We got to talk about this, right? Yeah, yeah. How like, God's in that cell yeah. over there? How should we let him out? Should we pray to him? What should yeah, we do? Yeah, yeah. We're going to move on? <laughs> what are you, insane? So, Brutal, come with me. Mm. So they walk over, and then they, Percy's cleaning old Sparky. And then, they, and then Percy looks at him right when they walk in the room, and they're smiling. Mm -hmm. And Percy's like, don't start in on me. It was just a little mouse. It didn't belong here, okay? And they go, what are you talking about, Percy? The mouse is fine. You ain't as good at mouse killing like you ain't good at anything else. Percy looks up. He goes, I heard the thing crunch. And then Tom goes, what are you talking about? Aren't you just glad Dale's mouse is okay? Isn't that the only thing you should be happy about? He's like, what kind of game is this? And Brutus like, ain't no game. Go see for yourself. He's like, oh. and he goes and he walks in and he looks. And he's like, what? Because Dale's just playing with his mouse. Right. He comes back and he's like, you switched him. You switched him, you bastards, huh? You think you can play with me? Who the hell do you think you are? And then right then, Brutal grabs him, boom, throws him hard as shit down in old Sparky and pins him up. And Tom gets right in the truck and grabs him by the throat. He goes, Percy, I want your word. After Dale, you put in your transfer to Briar Ridge Mental Hospital. And then he's like, Percy's like, well, what if, I, what if I call certain people and just say you've been harassing me? And then he goes, you can do that. But I promise you will share blood on the floor. Hmm? We'll tell everything. What you did, how you broke Dale's hand, how you did this, how you smashed his mouth, how you, uh, you know, everything. He's like, uh, we'll, we'll tell him uh, how you did, uh, brought in uh, this. Yeah, go back to all your old things. He's like, he's saying, we'll, we'll tell him everything. He's like, all that stuff will be on your work record. Even a governor cares about a work record. You know that, right, Percy? And he's like, <laughs> and he goes, all right. And then he looks at him, he goes, I put you out. You put the transfer in. That's the deal. Percy agrees, shakes his head. He goes, you make a promise to a man, Percy. You shake his hand. Percy's like, okay. They leave, cut to, it's execution night. All right? Storm is super hard outside. Dale, he's in his cell. He's playing with his mouse. The boys walk up. He goes, hey, boys. They're like, Edouard Delacroix, will you step forward? Gets up, boss. He gets right in front of Paul. Don't let nothing happen, Mr. James. He starts crying and he puts the mouse on his shoulder. Okay. And Tom Hanks is so great. He goes, because Mr. Jangles is just like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he goes, Miss. He goes, Dale. You know I can't just have a mouse on my shoulder during this. He goes, oh, I'm sorry, boss. You're right. And then you hear John go, I'll take care of him. I'll hold him. Just for now, if Dale don't mind. And Dale's like, no, you take him, John. Until this foolishness be done. That's Man. a great line. Oh, uh, bro. He, I told this nigga, like, bro, he's amazing. That clown, that nigga can act, fool. It's crazy. They, they, it's they, crazy he was a clown. Clown. Yeah. That we yeah, thought like, like, a ridiculously over the top yeah, clown. Yeah, yeah. To, to this very yeah. real character. Yeah. So, you know, they take the mouse over to, to John. And he looks over at Paul and Brutal and he goes, Mouseville? And Brutal's like, that's right, Mouseville. We're going to take them down there together. He looks at Brutal and he goes, you're a good man, Boss How. <laughs> you too, Boss Etchko. Man, I really sure wish I could have met y'all someplace else. <sighs> he speaks a bunch of French. I will say, go see me, little boop. I'll see and then they start walking him down the mile. The shot is from up top. The shot is unreal, bro. I know you when you see this shot mm -hmm. when they're walking Edward down the thing mm -hmm. from up top. Oh, heavy shot. 
heavy slow. fucking shit. Slow. Mm-hmm. The angle, just like, damn, well, you know it is, you know? So as he walks in, a woman in the crowd who's waiting for him, like a family member of the deceased, she's like, I hope he's good and scared. Good and scared. She's saying this to her husband, right? Her husband's like, just pissed too. Dale walks in and he sees Percy out in front. He goes, he gets all nervous. And they go, it's all right, Dale. It's all right. They bring him up to the chair. They strap him in. Percy steps out front. Roll on one. John, cut to John in the cell. He's holding Mr. Jangles, but he's scared as shit. And he's like, you be still, Mr. Jangles. You be quiet and still. Percy reads him his last rites. Any last words? He starts crying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I do. I, I give anything to take it back. But I can't. May God have mercy on me. I'm a good mercy. You know, and he just starts crying, right? And they put the hood on him. And as they put the hood on him, he goes, Boss. He looks at Paul. Don't forget about Mousefield. Paul goes. And then as they're putting it down, he goes, Percy. He says, hey, ain't no such place. It's a fairy tale to keep you quiet. And his eyes get big. He looks at Paul, and Paul's like, he's like, just thought you should know, faggot. And then they finish putting the hood down. He's like, Pah! you know, bro, it. Damn. I told you, you hate. I mean, you. There's a moment in this world where you're like, oh, nigga, I, I got to kill a person. Damn. I got to kill what a person. What is that about? What is that about, dude? What does that even do for you? Let it go. Oh, it gets him hard. It's 100%, dude. Percy is Bonerville right now. It's Joffrey. Yeah. That's that Joffrey. That's evil, though. To you me, need, it's you like. You need other people to hurt to feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Joffrey needed to kill two prostitutes with a crossbow to get a fucking boner. Get a boner to come. Yeah. Like, who doesn't? But I, oh, you know? Well, a lot. Most people don't. Says you. Well, when he's I, one guess, I guess I'm the minority in that one. Yeah. Put yeah. it in a poll on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll put it as a poll on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Tag me in it, and I'm sh- yeah. sure I'll win. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Percy, you know, uh, so he says that. And you know he grabs the sponge because mm-hmm. the rest of the crew is all like, "Oh my god, I can't believe he just says it." He grabs the sponge, doesn't dip it in, walks it over, puts the dry sponge on his head. They tie it up. No one notices because mm-hmm. they're all still like, "I can't believe he just said that." Yeah. Dale starts. You hear Dale praying in French. He's just praying and praying. Mm-hmm. All right, Edouard Delacroix, electrician, shall now be passed through your body until you are dead. May God have mercy on your soul. You cut to John. He's crying in his cell. Come back. Paul looks at the bucket. He's looking at it. Percy's counting. He's got. A, he's like trying to hold back a smile as he's waiting for this countdown to happen. Right. Mm-hmm. He's waiting for it to get twelve. Mm-hmm. Paul keeps looking at the bucket. Like what the fuck is? Hits him. He looks at the floor. There's no water on the floor. Yeah. He gets right up to. He sees Dylan. He's like, oh, right then, roll on two. You hear Dell screaming like that. Yeah. And he's like, oh, oh. And he goes up to Brutal. He goes, he didn't want the sponge. And Brutal's like, what? He goes, the sponge is dry. And he goes to stop it. And Brutal grabs him. He's like, no, Paul. He goes, what? He goes, you can't. We go, what are we going to do? We can't let this happen. He goes, it's too late. You can't stop it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just fucking the whole body, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. John is in his cell crying, screaming. Ah, ah. You know what I mean? Also. Yeah. Brutal, like, uh, people are screaming, like, oh, my God, is this supposed, supposed to be like, oh, my God. As John is in his cell, he, ah, he shocks the mouse with something. Right. And the mouse fucking goes flying out of his hands and takes, Mr. Jangles takes off running. Right. All right. And John's like, oh, he's still screaming, right? Uh, while Bill's yelling, God, he, he's cooking now. He's cooking now. And he's beating against the cell. Whoa, he's cooking now. He's fine, boy. He's fine. Right? You see people are trying to run to the door to escape because Dell is now completely on fire. Right. Gah, gah. Still alive, though. Right. Oh, God. I mean, he's screaming. Top of his lungs. Crazy. So the warden is looking at him like, shut it down. Shut it down. And then Tom's Paul's like, do not. He is still alive, warden. Like, and, the, and the warden's even like, Fuck! Like, he's right, you know? Right. You know, uh, Percy, he's like this, and he turns away, and Paul grabs him. You watch, you son of a bitch! You watch all of it! And Percy's like, huh, you know, like a little bitch-ass bitch yeah. pussy. Yeah. You hate this nigga, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And then finally, the body goes, ah! Body stops moving, and it's just on fire. Mm-hmm. Right? They go, shut it down! They shut it down. And he fucking brutal throws the fire string and shit. At Percy, you do it. You be a man. Percy's like, and he's as he's like spraying it on it. You know, as the fire's going off. Yeah. 
cut down to the basement area, you know. Uh, remember when I said home? Remember when Percy was leaning on a body talking shit? It's like right. that little. It's like a little like where that where yeah. the bodies go. They're in that area. Morgue. Yeah, it's just it's brutal. It's Tom, and it's Percy. Mm-hmm. And they, the body's completely burnt to a complete crisp. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They put the thing over his head, and Percy's like, "I didn't know the sponge was supposed to be wet." Brutal knocks that nigga out. Bam! Just crack, and he goes to hit him again. You shut up! And he goes, "Hey, hey!" Paul's hold him. It's not worth it. Bruno, he is not worth it. Stop. And he's like, you'll let him get away with this. This motherfucker is not going to get away with this. You know, because Bruno don't play that shit. Right. I, he's like, hey, bro, we, I respect the, the dead fool. If a nigga willing to take his time like a man, we ain't, I'm not going to fucking. Yeah, yeah, especially you being a little bitch. You being a little. Mouse, Mouseville situation. Oh, like, yeah, dude. Christ. Yeah, it's like you made it personal. So yeah. now it's personal. Yeah. Like, I don't. Because it's not like I care about this nigga. Jesus I know he's Christ. a murderer, but you made it personal. Jesus you know? Christ. So he fucking, he's like, he's not worth it. Right then the warden comes down. and they, So now they all like, mm-hmm. oh, shit. Mm-hmm. And the warden's like, what in the blue fuck was that? The smell alone will be out of that room for five years. And that asshole Wild Bill is up there singing about it. And then Paul looks at him and goes, well, can he carry a tune, warden? And the warden goes, you're right. Okay. Okay, boys. What happened? And Paul's like, an execution, a successful one. And then Warden's like, how is that a success? Edouard Delacroix is dead. That's our job. I, th- bro, I love time. I thought that was, I was like, damn. oh, damn. Like, hey. Damn, he even had his, he had his back like, hey. in that situation? Like, it's I, crazy. Bro, it's, we work on the mile. Yeah. That, but that's why you what respect them niggas, bro. Stays on, stays on the mile. It's like, hey, bro, what happened was a successful execution. Don't worry about what happened. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. He di- is he dead? Yeah. Job done. That's what you pay us for. Nobody's hurt. You know what I mean? Like, I get, like, hey, that's it, you know? And then he goes, uh, uh, you know, he, he starts, the warden starts going off on Percy. Well, what the hell happened? What were you doing up there right there? And he goes, how? How? It's okay. You ain't got to yell at Percy because he's moving on the Briar Ridge. Ain't that right, Percy? Percy's like, yeah. He's like, that's right. Better things for Percy's life. Percy's like, yes, sir. And the warden's like, well, all right, then. Well, fix this mess. And he leaves. They go upstairs. Paul goes upstairs and you, you hear Fucking Wild Bill. Barbecue! Me and you! Stanky, panky, pew, pew, pew! Barbecue! And then you fucking, you, Paul comes up and goes, Hey! You are 10 seconds away from spending your life in that padded room. And he goes, yeah, Bro, I love yeah, why, bro. His act, he shuts. And like, oh, all right. Yeah, oh, okay, that's real. <laughs> yeah. They put oh, me in there twice. Uh, I don't like that room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I'll be wild, nigga, but I don't like that room. Yeah. I, I'll, um, I guess I, I have a line, too. I have a line, nigga. Yeah. It's, uh, don't put me in that padded room. So, John's just bawling, crying. Poor old Dale. Poor old Dale. And Tom, Paul walks up. He's like, yeah, poor old Dale, John. Are you okay? I could feel it from here, boss. You mean you could hear it, John? You could hear it from here? No, I can feel it. But he out now. Dale, the lucky one. Where's Mr. Jangles, John? He ran away. I don't think he'll be back. He felt it through me, too. I'm sorry, boss. All that hurt just spill out sometimes. Awful time. Dog time, boss. Passes out. All right. It, pl- it plays like a yeah. book, doesn't it? Yeah, that's why I love it. It's like, oh, they play. They, uh, they, I mean, like I said, this one. Of the, we talked about this. This is one of the few movies where I think the movie was it's even better, better than the book, book, and the book yeah. is one of the best books I've ever read. Yeah, that's crazy. So they, just, they, 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 he pasted just this. Perfectly. This uh, director just knew. Well, he knew how to do Stephen King books clearly. Yeah, and he knew what to leave out and, mm-hmm. what, and what to what keep, keep and how to yeah. pace. So mm-hmm. the next day, uh, Paul goes to lunch at Howell's place, mm-hmm. and you can see his wife is sick. She's just sick as shit. You know, the one with the tumor, and she's out front. Yeah. Paul hates that he has to be there. He's like, oh, this, I feel so uncomfortable. I, I can't be here. It makes me sad, you know. Mm-hmm. His wife's like, come on. So they go in. He's talking to Hal, and Hal's telling him how this is a good day. It's okay to be here. And then he, and Paul's like, what's a bad day? He's like, oh, she'll start swearing. He's like, Belinda? She doesn't swear. He's like, she'll go crazy, Paul. She won't even know she's doing it. Just cursing and screaming. And he tries to like hold it together, and he's like, "Oh, it's like, yeah, this is real." Yeah, because also like that's what they like yeah. you, when you got a brain thing, bro. You you start losing it, yeah, just done. mentally, and just you're not th- you're it's not. Th- he's like he's like he's like sometimes she's not even my wife. Yeah, that's a too too much scary. Like Alzheimer's, that shit is scary. anything because you have to keep loving them. You you know you when you gonna leave the person like let the person be and die. You know you gotta love them, man. It's fucking harsh, it's rough. That's rough reality of life. 
So uh, he that night, Paul can't sleep, and he mm-hmm. wakes his wife, and he tells her how much he loves her and how he would do anything for her. And he goes, also, I think I'm going to have the boys over for lunch tomorrow. Is that okay? She's like, yeah, okay. So they're all having lunch. They're having a good time. It's quiet for a second. And Paul goes, so we all saw what he did to the mouse. And they all go, God damn, okay. We knew you were going to talk about it, but since we didn't, I'd rather we just don't, Paul. Like, they're all like, man, it's been this long. I I don't want to talk about it. That Let's leave it alone. Mm -hmm. And then Paul goes, let me tell you all something. He did the same to me. They go, what? He put his hands on me, and he took my infection away. They all look at him, and the wife goes, it's true. He came home, and he was he was better, right? Mm-hmm. He smiled, and he laughs. And then uh, Dean, the young guy, goes, you mean, a, Paul, like a praise Jesus miracle? Well, he goes, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the miracle? Not the, <laughs> That's what it took you to believe he can do miracles? Not to bring the mouse back to life? <laughs> well, that's what he said. No, he said yeah. both. He was like both. Oh, he was, okay. Are you saying these are praise Jesus, Jesus miracles? miracles. Okay. Like, that's what he does. Like, it wasn't the first one. Went, like, that's, mm-hmm. you know, and he goes, uh, he goes, yeah. That's why I called you here today. And then Brutal's like, well, what, that, what does that have to do with us? You know? He goes, well, I've been thinking of Belinda. And I think, I can, I think Paul, uh, John can help. There might be a chance. And it, uh, Brutal guy's like, you are talking about jobs, you know? You know, if we bring Belinda in there. And he, Paul goes, no, no, no. You know, Hal never have that. He, you know, he won't believe anything. You mean, and then right then another guy goes, you mean taking John Coffee to her? And Paul goes, yep. And then Brutal's like, well, that's more than our jobs, Paul. That's prison time. We get caught taking a, a, life, a death row person out. We are now in prison. Yeah, Jesus. You know what I mean? And then uh, right then, and, uh, and he goes, yeah, we would be, but not you, Dean. And then Dean's like, what do you mean? I, I wouldn't do it. I would do it, too, if y'all do it. And he goes, no, you got to stay back. Me, my wife, our boys are all grown up. Harry's boys are all grown up. Brutal single. You're the only one with two young kids and a kid on the way. Can't do that to your life. Somebody's got to also be there to have our backs if we do this. You know? And then Brutal goes, look, well, I'll say something. She may be a fine woman, Paul. I have no doubt. But we do not know her like you guys. That is your friend. You know? Also, and then another guy goes, also, John Coffey is a murderer. I'd hate to, you know, he goes, I, I, he's, I'd hate to get caught and lose my job. But way more importantly, I'd hate to have another dead child on my conscience. Mm-hmm. And then Tom Cruise is like, well, I don't think Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks, yeah. Tom, Tom Hanks. Cruise. This is a very different movie. Whoa, this movie is way more running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of a lot of jumping from airplanes. Yeah, a lot okay. of hit. Uh, light scenes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Tom Hanks goes, I don't think that. In fact, I don't think he did it at all. I don't see God giving a gift to a man like that, who would hurt a child. Mm-hmm. And they all kind of look at him like, well, that's a, okay, fair point. <laughs> okay. Also, we've met him. His temperament is definitely what you're saying. Yeah, very <laughs> soft, very soft, kind. very kind. Yeah. Uh, and then, well, one of the guys goes, "Well, he is here for that, Paul. He is here for murdering two little girls. That's what he's here for. Mm-hmm. And if he gets away, what are we going to do? It's going to take a lot of bullets to stop him." And then Brutal's like, "Oh, don't worry about that. We'll have shotguns." But Paul, I want you to know something. If he tries anything, we're going to have to take him down. Paul's like, "I know." So they all and they all look at each other and they're like. And Dean goes, well, what you have in mind, boss? Scene ends. Cut to the next day. They're in the pills cabinet, right, mm-hmm. at work. And they go, got it. They grab one. And they crush up a bunch of pills. All right? They walk past. They look in the window. Percy is reading like a book. It looks like he's reading like a real book, like a book on like mental health. Right. And then he's really reading porn inside yeah. the book. Yeah. Because he's Percy. Yeah. Uh, that's the first thing he's done that I respect. I don't respect anything he does. But you see him, you won't respect it. It's like, oh, look at this gross fuck. It's like Joffrey reading porn. You know, you're just like, I hate this nigga, dog. <laughs> so uh, the boys, they look and they kind of sneak by to make sure you know he doesn't mm-hmm. see, right? So Brutal brings out some ice, some Cokes mm-hmm. for the boys. And he's like, hey, you want some Cokes? And Wild Bill hears that and he goes, I want some. Come on now, get break. Don't, y'all don't be standing. Let, let Wild Bill get in on Coke, you know? And they pour it. And one of the guys goes, well, he has been pretty behaved today. The report said he's been good actually all week. And he's like, oh, come on, boys. Don't be standing. I've been good. Come on now. And so they put all the crushed pills in his cup. In Wild Bill's cup. Okay. All right. And John knows something's going on because he comes out to the cell to watch what's happening, mm-hmm. right? So Paul walks it over. And he gives it to Wild Bill. Wild Bill downs it. A little time passes. Wild Bill's like, what the fuck? What is that? Bam! Passes out. So Paul walks over. The whole crew's behind him. He looks at them all. He goes, anyone want out? Now's the time. Music gets super serious. Mm-hmm. 
All right, no turning back. Nobody says anything. Right then, John goes, well, that's just fine with me. I want to take a ride, boss. They all kind of look at him, and Bruto goes, well, I guess we're all in then. Yeah. <laughs> so they walk into Percy's office. Mm -hmm. Percy looks at all of them because it's all four of them. Mm -hmm. He's like, what the fuck? Paul holds up the straight jacket. Percy's like, no, no, and he tries to run. They go, oh, settle down, settle down. Brutal grabs him. And, you know, it's Dean and it's Harry and it's yeah. fucking Paul. They're looking at him like, settle down, Percy. He's like, you are not doing this to me. Don't do this to me. They go, settle down. He goes, I know people. I know big people. And they go, stick your arms out, Percy. I know people. No, I won't stick them out. And he starts, Brutal, twists this nigga's ears like this. Like, uh, and he's like, ah. And Tom Hanks is like, that. bro, Tom Hanks is like, bro, uh, <laughs> Percy, a man is twisting your ears off. Do what he says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, and he finally sticks his arms out and they put him in and they start buckling him up and he starts crying and he goes, please, Paul, please don't put me in the cell with Wild Bill. Please. And then Paul grabs him. You would think like that, wouldn't you? I love that line. It's like you, I'm not even that evil. Yeah. That's, I just want you to know how Fucking fucked up you are. Jesus. You little bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like Jesus. you that like, shook him. You're like, what are you even talking about? What are you talking about? Why would I do? How, you know, you fucking evil fuck. Cause that's what you would do. Also, it's like that's what you want. Yeah. You want it. You want to put somebody in a cell while so you can ready where you can watch. Just kill somebody and you just want it. That's yeah. all you want. Oof. So they uh he goes, they start dragging him into the solitary. He's like, no, no, you can't do this to me. You can't. And he goes, we can. And they tape his mouth shut. And we are. And they throw him down. He's like, and they fucking, we're going to give you a few hours to reflect on what you did to Dale. Boom, door slams. So, Good. Deserves that. Oh. Yeah. So uh, they're talking to Dean. Now he goes, all right, Dean, one more time. Let's go over the plan. Dean goes over the plan. He's like, we put coffee, uh, John Coffee, in the restraining room because he was having a little problem. So if the person's in there making noise, they'll think it's him. Mm -hmm. Uh uh, while Bill's knocked out, Dale, uh, uh, somebody else you, uh, is down there doing his laundry. Somebody else is doing the files. And then uh, right then they walk up to John Coffee and Coffee goes, we going for that ride? And they go, yeah, John, we all going for the ride. And they open the thing up. As they're walking John out, a hand reaches out. Boom, grabs fucking John Coffee. It's Wild Bill. He's up. And he's like all fucked up. He's looking at him. He's like, where are you going, nigger? Where are you going? And John's like, huh. He's looking at him. He's like, that's right, nigger. I got you. He's like, huh. And then John keeps looking at him like, ah! like that, right? Like he's getting hit with something. Like, and then like, bam, the lights hit. You know, the lights pop again. Psh! Also, they, man, the light bill because yeah. of John. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> How was no one asking questions about these lights? Like, As a warden, you're like, busted why am I five lights? Yeah, why am I spending and all this money on the lights? Y'all busted all the lights with the night we did Dale? Are you kidding me? Yeah. All of them? <laughs> again? For the third time? What the fuck is happening? Yeah. <laughs> so, he's like, hey, grab John. He's like, and they're like, John? He's like, oh. John looks just staring at him, horrified. Like, oh. And then they, Paul finally takes his hand off, and Wild Bill, boom, passes back out. Mm -hmm. And he looks at Paul, he's like, he a bad man, boss. He's like, I know, John. So they take John outside. He looks up, he sees the stars, and, bro, the smile is just, <sighs> he can't believe it. And he goes, look, look, it's Cassie, the lady in the rocking chair. And they go, quiet, John. He's like, look. He's all happy. And then they sneak him out the back of the prison and they get out like a little far away and he stops and they go, John, come on. And he picks up a bunch of grass and leaves and he's like, <sighs> like he, you know what I mean? Bro, yeah. Michael Clark, that's what I'm talking about. He is. Acting. Oh, crazy. and he drops the leaves and they go, come on. And they walk to a truck that they've already hidden in the woods. Mm -hmm. All right. So they put him in the truck and they look and they go, John, you know where, you were, you know where we're taking you tonight? And John goes, help a lady? How, how do you know that, John? Don't know, boss. Tell the truth. I don't know, know much of anything. Never have. They're just like, what the fuck is going on? Crazy. Right? So how they get to Hal's house. Mm -hmm. They park outside. Right then they start, they all go, oh, man, what were we thinking? This is stupid. We, let's go back. Let's go back now. Right then the house lights come on. They're like, oh, shit, he's up. He's up. And they go, well, stay here, John. Stay here. They come out. And Hal comes out with a shotgun. He's like, hey, who's out there? Who's out there? And he goes, it, Paul's like, it's us. Hal, it's us. It's me. It's brutal. It's the, it's the boys. He goes, oh, God. Oh, God, is something going on in the prison? Is it, is it a riot? Are, are you being held hostage? Who's out there? And then he goes, who's about the truck? And then John gets out the truck. Who's about there? 
He goes, oh, no, that's John Coffey. John, you stop or I'll shoot. And they go, Hal, Hal, put, it's okay, Hal, put it down. He goes, you stop, John Coffey, I'll shoot you right now. Hal, put it down. Right then you hear, Hal, from upstairs. Mm-hmm. Hal. And he, bro, I, the Nick acting, because he goes, like, if, you know, Hal, who is it? Who you talking to down there? Tell him, go away. God damn it. Tell him, fuck off, Hal! You know, he's like, he's like, right then Paul's like, we're here to help. We're here to help, trust me. And then right then John, John walks up on him and he grabs his gun. And Hal's like, what do you want? Right? And then you hear, you hear, make him go away, Hal! Fucking make him go away! He looks up and he looks back and he goes, I just want to help, boss. That's all. You can't. No one can. He grabs the gun. He gives it to Paul. He grabs the fucking old warden and just kind of moves him nicely out the way. Mm -hmm. Don't you go in there. Hal, it's okay. Don't. Don't you do it. Hal. And she keeps screaming, right? He's like, stop. He keeps walking forward. Mm -hmm. Paul, I don't want him up there. They hold the warden back now. Paul, no. He gets up to the room. He looks in. She's like laying in the bed. Oh, fuck. Eyes sunken in. Black, yeah. sick. Just, you know what I mean? Sick, you know? Ow. He goes in. She goes, don't you come near me, you pig fucker. Get away from me. He sits down by her. And he looks at her, like just softly. Mm-hmm. And she's like, Why do you have so many scars? He has scars all over his body. Right? He goes, doesn't say anything. She goes, who hurt you? Don't remember, ma'am. What's your name? John Coffey. Like to drink. Not spelled the same. Ma'am, I see it. (gasps) She starts crying. Just, he goes, I see it. (laughs) She's like, What's happening? He goes, shh, be still. So quiet, so still. He leans in, he kisses her on the forehead. Now the how dude's watching like, oh, what the fuck is going on? He leans in her mouth, and the light gets super bright in the room. He starts sucking the light out of her mouth, bro. It's just light out of her mouth. Yeah. And she's like, oh, like that, right? They show, they show a clock. Time has stand, like, stood still. The house fucking earthquake. Whoo, shakes. He sucks it all in. The woman looks beautiful again. It looks like she's aged 40, like down 40. Yeah, reverse, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just she looks beautiful, not sick at all. John starts <laughs> coughing like crazy, and he falls. And then Brutal's like, all right, come on, John, sick it up. Come on, sick it up like you did before. Just sick it up. Throw it up now. <laughs> he's like, oh, shit, Paul. He's, he's choking. Paul, And then uh, Paul's like, John, you okay? I'm fine, boss. <laughs> I'm fine. Just let me be. <laughs> he's choking, right? And she looked, the wife looks at Hal, because Hal's just like, and she's like, Hal, how did I get here? I thought we were going to the hospital. It doesn't matter anymore, baby. What did I, did I have the x-ray? And he's like looking at her like he doesn't know what to say, and then Paul goes, yes, you had the x-ray, Belinda. <gasps> it was clear, no tumor. And Hal just breaks down. Ah, bro, the act just. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and he just starts kissing her. She kisses him back. And then right then he goes, uh, he goes, John, Paul. Paul goes, John, can you stand up and see this nice lady? John gets up. <laughs> He's all fucked up. And then she goes, What's your name? He goes, John, <laughs> coffee, ma'am. <laughs> and she's like, like the drink. Just not spelled the same. <laughs> yes, ma'am. She gets up, she walks over to him. She grabs him and she goes, I dreamed of you. You were wandering in the dark. And I was wandering in the dark. And we found each other. We did. And she takes off her necklace and she gives it to him. And she goes, it's St. Christopher. If you wear it, it'll keep you safe. He's like, ma'am, he's like, please, for me. Thank you, ma'am. And she hugs him. And she goes, thank you, John. Right? Oh. Jesus Christ. 
So they walk him to the car. Now nah, he's fucked up. They're, they're holding him. They're all, all of them. They're all holding him. Right. You know, and he's like, they're like, come on, big fella. We can't, you can't fall down. We ain't gonna be able to get you up. Come on. <laughs> and they fucking lay him in the truck and he just lays there. <laughs> and Brutal looks at him and goes, Paul, he ain't gonna sit in on Sparky. Ain't no way he gonna make it. If he sucked up with the Belinda, it's in him now. We gonna walk up into the cell in two days and he gonna be there dead. And then Paul looks at John as he's coughing and looks back at Brutal and goes, well, if that's his choice, he's earned it. Come on, let's get him back. Yeah. If that, well, uh, well, if that's how he wants to go, that's how he's going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he's picked at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. So they get back. Dean is panicked. Like, oh, my God, where were you? So many people were asking questions, this, that, and the third, you know. Oh, but he's like, but I'm glad y'all are back. I think we're okay. Mm-hmm. They put John in the bed, and they're like, what's wrong with him? And he just lays down, and he just keeps coughing. Mm-hmm. You know, and Dean's all excited, and they close the cell. And he's like, well, what about Miss Morris? Was it, was it like the mouse, you know? Was it a miracle? And then they all, they're all just smiling, looking at each other, and they look at him, and they go, yeah. Yes, it was. And he's like, well, you know, whoa. Yeah. They open Percy's door. Mm-hmm. They go, Percy. Paul leans down, Brutal's behind him. He goes, now I want to talk. Not shout, Percy. I want to talk. So if I take that mouth, that uh, tape off your mouth, you going to be calm? They take the tape off. All right, he's like, okay, Percy. And then Percy goes, can you let me out this nut coat now? And then he's like, Percy, in a minute, right now, right now, you piece of shit. And then Brutal fucking wham, slaps the shit out of him. And then he's like, shut up, Percy, and listen. Now, you deserve what happened to you for what happened to Dale. Accept it like a man. But Percy, you mind me now. We will see you beat between an inch of your life. We know people too, Percy. Are you too foolish not to know that me and Brutal also know people? And he looks at Brutal and Brutal's like, like, yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know people high people. up. We yeah. know people down low. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to meet in the middle? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ. Love that. And I'm like, hey, bro, don't, don't yeah, you? Put the fear of God in this, man. This mm-hmm. guy needs it. He goes, now, Percy, I think after all this, we should let bygones be bygones. Nothing's hurt but your pride. What happens on the mile stays on the mile. And then Brutal says, always has. Right? And he looks at them both and he goes, may I please be let out of this nut coat now? Yes, you may, Percy. They let him out. He's so pissed. He's like, mm-hmm. combs his hair all slick back. My things. And they give him his gun belt and all that. Mm-hmm. And then Paul, as he goes to walk out, Paul stops him. He goes, think it over, Percy. And Percy's like, oh, I intend to. I'll think it over very hard starting now. And he shrugs him up like, and he goes walking, right? Mm-hmm. And he stops to like put his belt on all the right way. And Brutal looks over at Paul and he's like, you know he's going to talk sooner or later. And Paul's like, yeah, I know. You know, like, mm-hmm. well, it, is it, it, is. it is what it is, man. Yeah. We saved the homeboy, grown girl's life, it, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Right then, Percy finishes putting on his belt. He looks over to his right. John's standing right there. Boom! Grabs him by the throat. Yanks him and lifts him in the air. Everybody's like, John! John, let him go! Let him go right now! You stop, John! Let him go! Let him go! John brings him in close. Percy's he's like... Ah. He brings him in. The guy's like, what the fuck? What are you doing? You hear... Ah, he blows that shit right in Percy's mouth. Uh... Ah. Percy's like... Ah. His eyes get her like... Like that, right? Mm-hmm. He blows it all in. John fucking backs up and falls down. Mm-hmm. Well, Percy deserves all of that. <laughs> so that's what you used to this piece of shit. So uh, uh, the guys are, all, of course, all like, "What the fuck, Percy? Percy, you okay? Percy, Percy, you all right?" He's just like this. Percy. He moves Paul out the way, starts walking down the hallway like a zombie. While Bill is waking up. He gets right to Wiles Bill's cell, stops, and just stares at him. But he's still like this. Mm-hmm. Right? While Bill wakes up and he's like, oh, What you looking at? Boy, what you looking at? You limp noodle, huh? You wanna kiss my ass? You wanna suck my dick? Percy's still like, 
and then just pulls out a gun. Boom, 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 boom. Six shots right in his fucking chest. <gasps> Percy, no! They fucking tackle him. He flies to the ground. <sighs> Wild Bill dies. Crazy. Percy then goes, <laughs> and then all the flies come out of him. Right. And then he just lays there. And he's just laying there. And then Paul looks at him. And then he looks up at John Coffey. And John goes, I punished them bad men, boss. I punished them both. Paul's like, why? Why? Wild Bill. I saw in his heart what he done, boss, when he grabbed me. You can't hide what's in your heart, boss. But you saw what? Take my hand, boss. See for yourself. Brutal's like, no, Paul. No, do not touch him, Paul. Paul. Please, boss, take my hand. Paul just does it. Shakes it, right? And then goes, no. No, 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 no. No, tries to yank away. No, no. And he's like, I'm sorry, I have to, boss. I have to give you a piece of myself. A gift of inside of me so you can see for yourself. So you can see, Paul. She's like, no, 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 no. Right then, Paul, he sees the little girl jump a rope. Right. Right? And he cuts back to, and then he, all the lights, of course, busting around him. He's like, ah. Oh. And then we see, remember the dad from the beginning? We yeah. see him. And he calls his family in for dinner. And the girls run in for dinner. And they run right by Wild Bill. Oh. Who is painting their house. Fuck. Come on in here, Wild Billy, the dad says in slow-mo. You worked, I worked you hard enough for one day. Come on in. You can eat with us today. Wild Bill's smiling as he's staring at the little girls. Oh, fuck. Cut to the house. In slow-mo, he's eating dinner with the family, looking at the little girls. Mm-hmm. He, he can just, you know, just looking like the scariest Eagles, predator. Dude. Yeah. Cut to the night. He busts in the screen room. They look like the little girls have a screen room door. He kind of slices his way in. Unlocks it. He grabs her. The two little girls, he wakes up. He goes, shh. Let me tell you something. Make any noise. I kill her instead of you. You make any noise. I kill her. Understand? Remember in the beginning of the movie? I didn't hear a guy. You make any noise. Yeah. I kill her. You know? Yeah, yeah. It was him. It's that. <sighs> make any noise. I kill her. You make any noise. I kill her. You understand? Shh. And then John, he looks at Paul as he's holding his hand. He kill him with love. They love for each other. <laughs> That's how it is. Every day, all over the world, boss. Cut to, you know, he lets go of his hand. And he's just like, because <sighs> he saw it all. Now he knows. Yeah, he knows what happened. So the next day, Percy, he still can't respond. He's mm-hmm. gone. Like He's still just like that. Mm-hmm. The warden gets there, and, you know, he's talking to Paul, and he's telling Paul, he's like, look, I'll cover for you as much as I can, even if it means my job. Paul, you know I'll do. But I have to know, does this have to do with anything that happened in my house last night? Paul's quiet, looks up. No. <laughs> and then the scene, I, yeah. Tom Hanks, I was like, oh, that's uh, what great. A great bro. scene. That's what a oh, great that just, scene. just be like, nah. Nah. You know this what? Is, this guy, these are just two bad guys. No, Asan. Yeah. What happens on the mile stays on the mile. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Like, boss a friend or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the whole code. That's the whole code. What happens on this mile? <laughs> Stays on the mile. I'm a man of my word, man. Fucking crazy. So, uh, cut to Percy. He's being brought into a mental hospital, mm-hmm. and he's still like this. Mm-hmm. And the camera bands out, and it's Briar Ridge. I mean, that's subtle, bro. But that's very good uh, writing. That's not subtle. That's I mean, great right. I mean, yeah, that <laughs> yeah. is unbelievable. Why he yeah, ended up there he ended anyway? Up in Briar Ridge. Crazy, so right? You get from murdering in the straight somebody. Jump. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you fucking. You know, a guy who was supposed to be murdered. No, he was supposed to be executed. Yeah, you, you murdered, murdered him. him. Good fucking. He that's was supposed difference. to be executed. It's like you. Good fucking point, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good you murdered point. him. So Paul, that night he's sitting sad at home. Him and his wife are talking how to help John. He doesn't mm-hmm. know what to do. Mm-hmm. And then she looks at him. She goes, "There's no way out for this you, for you, honey. There's no way out." And he's like, "It's all I think about." He goes, honey, I've done some things in my life, some terrible things. But this is the first time I've ever felt real danger from hell. Bro, he's, at, he's like, I'm, honey, I'm terrified. 
She's like, just talk to him, honey. Talk to John and ask him what he wants. Cut to the next night. They open his cell. Mm-hmm. It's him and Brutal. Mm-hmm. Well, John, we're coming down to it. Mm-hmm. A couple days now. John goes, yeah. And then Brutal goes, anything for dinner you want that night, John? I told you we'd get back here. Finally. Oh, I was like, I, I forgot about this. I know. I, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> John goes, meatloaf, be nice. Mashed potatoes, gravy, some okra. Maybe some of that cornbread from your missus, if you don't mind. All right, now what would yours be? Um, steak. Ooh. Mashed potatoes. Nice. Broccoli. Oh, I like that. A bowl of ice cream for dessert, if we can. Oh, that's you. And then uh, Coca Cola. Ooh, for the, with the dinner. Yeah, that's lovely. Mm-hmm. Yo, yo. Uh, I would do. Wings. Wings? Just wings? I do wings. You get a whole Some meal. ranch. Okay. Macaroni and cheese. Oh. Brussels sprouts. Ooh. A nice salad. And at the end, a, bam- a bag of Flamin' Hot Cheetos, bro. Ooh. With a Dr. Pepper. Ooh, I like that. That's my last meal. I like that. That's a good last meal. Uh, that's my last meal for sure. I would add a uh, mashed potatoes with garlic, like garlic mashed potatoes. Ooh, my steak. add yeah. that garlic. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. So, uh, a preacher. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, uh, Paul goes a preacher. Would you like a preacher, John? And he, John's like a preacher. No, no preacher. He's like, you don't know when to say a prayer. And then John looks at him. He's like, you can say a prayer if you like, boss. And he's like, I, I suppose I could do that, John. Right then, he gets super scared. He goes, I have to ask you something important, John. I know what you got to say, boss. You don't have to. No, no, I do. Tell me, John, what you want me to do. Take you out? Let you let you run away? See how far you can get? Why would you do such a foolish thing, boss? On the day of my judgment, John, when I stand before God and he asks, why did I kill one of his true miracles? What am I to say? It's my job? Starts crying. Damn. It's my job? It's true. Damn. It's a miracle. No, it's, a, a, it's a God miracle, bro. This thing is a, real it's a scene. God-like this is a real miracle, scene. bro. This is a real scene. This, this is some, this is, bro. This is a... He goes, John goes, you tell God the Father. It was a kindness you did. He grabs Paul by the hand. I know you're hurting. I want it to be over, boss. I do. I'm so tired. I'm tired, boss. Tired of being on the road. Lonely as a sparrow in the rain. This one hurt me. I'm tired of never having a buddy. Mostly I'm tired of people just being ugly to each other. I feel it and hear it in the world. Oh, that's a lot. Dang. That's so much. It's like pieces of glass in my head, boss. All the time. Do you understand? And Brutal's like, well, there must be something we can do for you, John. Something, anything you want. John stops and he thinks. He goes, I've I, I never seen me a flicker show before. Cut to he's in the movie theater watching the movie from the beginning. I'm in heaven. Oh wow. I'm in heaven. Oh wow. I Way told you this to is writing. Come on, Frank Darabont. Give me one for Frank Darabont. That dog. was well one for Frank. done. Oh, come on. Well done. I'm in heaven and my heart can hardly speak. And all so it's John in the movie theater in the front watching the movie. And he's like this. He's never see, even seen a movie theater before. So, right. I mean, so he's like this, is double, his this is double. This losing his fucking mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's watching these people dance and choreography and all this shit, and the singing's beautiful. The best shot, though, is you see Paul to the like right a couple of rows back, mm. and then a couple more rows back, you see the other guys. And they're all watching with him, just like smiling. Happy that he's happy. And That's it's nice. the four big guys. Yeah, yeah they're, nice. and it's like, oh, wow, they're all sharing this moment with him, you know? And uh, he's watching the movie, and he goes, wow, these is angels. Angels just like up in heaven. He's just like crying to himself. He's oh, so happy. Jesus. So the next night, the guys are standing at the end of the mile. Mm-hmm. They're all looking at each other like 
with that look of like, I do not want to do what we're about to do. Right. They walk down. They open John's still. John Coffey, we step forward. He steps forward. They all look at him, and they all kind of get sad. Mm. And John goes, it'll be all right, fellas. This is the hard part. Okay, John. John, I need the necklace. He takes the necklace off. I'll give it back right after. So they start walking down the mile, mm-hmm. and John goes, I fell asleep this afternoon, boss. I had a dream of Dale and Mouseville and Mr. Jangles. I dreamed they were kids, and they were laughing at Mr. Jangles' tricks. So they loved them, boss. And I dreamed of those two little blonde girls, and they was there on my lap. And they was laughing at Mr. Jangles, and we was just having a good time, boss. Oh, br- I mean. Oh, Jesus just- Christ. This is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cry during this, aren't I? Oh, the whole movie. That's all that scenes throughout the movie that get you. Yeah. Uh, he goes, there wasn't no blood in their hair. And we all just had laughed and laughed. They walk him in. Right when they walk him in, the family of the girls, they, the dad and the mom, mm. and John is so scared. He goes, these folks hate me. They hate me lots. I can feel it, boss. Feels like bees stinging me all over. He starts crying. And then, bro, Fuck it. Uh, uh, brutal grabs him on the arm and goes, feel us, John. We don't hate you. Who? 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 It's brutal, too. At this yeah, point, yeah, you, like you a big, ca- a yeah, 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 yeah. And, oh, God. And, and, and you know, John, big old smile. Mm-hmm. And once he smiles, bro, you hear, kill him twice, boys. And it shows the dad. Mm-hmm. You kill that raping baby killer twice. And, and he's right. Right. Yeah, yeah. What, is he wrong? He's not wrong. He's, he's fucking 100% right. He's not wrong. He's just trying to hold it together, but he wants to kill him himself. At least the overall justice in the world is the per- guy who actually did it is also dead. That's the overall justice. Yeah. And Percy's uh, got what he deserved. Percy got exactly what he deserved. That's, yeah. the, that's the justice of this. Yeah. So, uh, so they start buckling him in. Mm-hmm. Dean, the young one, mm-hmm. bawling his eyes out. Mm-hmm. Just... <gasps> And he, Tom Hanks looks at him and goes, you wipe your face before you stand up, Dean. You hear me? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> he stands up. He's wiping his face. Mm-hmm. Tom gets up. Roll on one. Lights get bright. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then right when the lights get bright, the mom goes, does it hurt? I hope it does. I hope it hurts like hell. Yeah. And, he's, and John's all scared. Say his rights. They go, John, is there anything like to say before your sentence is carried out? John looks around. He goes, I'm sorry for what I am. And they go to put the cloak over him. He goes, please, please, boss. Don't put that over my face. Don't put me in the dark. You know I was afraid of the dark, boss. And now, because, you know, I told you Tom was like this. And then he breaks. Mm -hmm. He starts trying not to cry. He's like, all right, John. All right. He tells him not to put it on him. And the dude is like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? This is crazy. All right. So he doesn't put on him. They put the wet sponge on his head. Mm -hmm. And as they put the wet sponge on his head, bro, Michael Clark Duncan. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Just over and over. Heavy. And then they go, John Coffey, electricity shall now be passed through your body until you are dead. May God have mercy on your soul. Dean, now he can't hold it. Up. Now <gasps> he's sobbing. Right. He's, Dean's sobbing now. Right. Fucking uh, the guy who does the switch, balling. Yeah. Balling. Uh, Brutal's like holding it together. It's quiet for a long time. Mm-hmm. Way past when it's supposed to go. Yeah. Paul's just looking. Brutal walks over. Paul. You have to say it. Paul doesn't say anything. Paul, you have to give the order. He's just frozen. He walks up to John, holds out his hand. They shake hands. He steps back. He hears John's voice in his head from when he shook his hand. He goes, he killed him with love. That's how it is, boss. Oh, wow. Wow. Over the world. He starts bawling. He barely says it. Roll on two. 
you don't see John. You just see Dean. You see Brutal. All of them. Yeah. Harry crying their eyes out. Lights all exploding. Tom's just like, as he just cries. Cut down to him down at the basement. They're looking at John's body. Mm -hmm. He puts the necklace back on him. You see his head's all fried. Brutal covers his face and pushes him away. You hear a voiceover. The old man. That was the last execution I ever took part in. Couldn't do it anymore. Brutal either. We both took jobs at the boys' correctional facility after that. With teenage, you know, underage, you know, teenage boys. Which we, and he looks at her and she's like this. And he goes, you don't believe me? And she goes, no, of course. I don't think you would make that up, Paul. It's just, he goes, it's quite a story, huh? She goes, yes. She goes, but I don't understand. He goes, what? You said you had a grown son in 1935. He goes, the math doesn't work, huh? He laughs. She's like, no. He goes, you want to take a walk with me? She goes, what? He goes, let's go for a walk. It's a little ways, but do you want to go? She's like, okay. Got to them on that long walk. Yeah. He takes her to the shed. They go in, though. Now we, they go in. It's old. It's abandoned. Right. He points on the floor. He's like, look. Look. Camera turns. It's a little cigar box. Wake up, old friend. Come on. You see a little old mouse crawl out. <laughs> Mr. fucking Jingles, dude. Jeez. He's old. Jeez. He's got all white hair. He's old. And he crawls over to him. And she's like, oh, Mr. Jingles. Right? And then he, he goes. And he grabs a spool. And he starts speaking a little French to him. And he throws it. And Mr. Jingles hobbles over. Stands up. Pushes it back. This is the, when I said this is one of the greatest movies I've, I told you, bro. I wasn't playing, dog. Is that how it ends? Uh, Pushes it back. Because it could end there. Pushes it back. No. Oh, no, no. Because you don't know the answers. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you don't fair. know the answers. That's fair. So, this isn't like a mission. You know what I mean? Yeah, this, yeah. This, 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 this sums it up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Shawshank. It's like, no, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna figure it we're out. Gonna figure, we're going to tell you what happens. Okay. <laughs> so, he goes, come on, boy. And he goes, uh, this isn't the Mouseville we had in mind, is it? And he laughs. He's like, but we make do. Mr. Jangles, he's touch, he's petting him. He goes, uh, I think what happened to Mr. Jangles happened by accident. Part of whatever magic was inside of John, it went into our tiny friend here. Now, as for me, he had to give me a part of himself, a gift, as John called it, so I could see what Wild Bill done. When John did that, when he took my hand, some of that power spilled into me. And she's like, he infected you with life. Yes. Infected us both. I'm 108 years old, Elaine. And he's sharp as a whip. You know what I mean? He's sharp as a whip. I'm telling you. And he was, she's like, oh. he's like, I was 44 when Coffee walked the Green Mile. He was just a force of nature. Jesus. I've lived to see some amazing things in the lane. I've seen a century pass. But also, I've seen all my friends and loved ones die off. Belinda, Hal, Brutal, my wife, my children. And you, Elaine, you'll die too. And my curse is knowing I'll be there. It's my atonement. Cut to, he's at her funeral. This is my punishment for killing a light of God. You'll be gone, and I'll have to stay. I'll die eventually. I have no illusions of immortality. But I'll wish for death long before it finds me. In truth, I wish for it already. He leaves for a funeral, right? This is voiceover. Yeah. He leaves a funeral. Cut back to him on the mile when he's younger. He looks, he's like, what have you been? Hmm? Been worried about you, boy. And it's Mr. Jangles running up. He grabs him. Like, come on, you hungry? He puts him on his shoulder. He's talking to him as he's walking. Cut to him walking down the hospital aisle. He goes, at night, I think of all the people I loved long gone. My beautiful Jan, how I lost her so many years ago. And all of my friends, and all of us, walking our own green mile, in our own time. But the one thought that keeps me awake most nights, if he can make a mouse live so long, how much longer do I? How much longer do I have? We see Mr. Jangles just sleeping in his box. 
Sometimes the green mile just seems so long. The green mile. Jesus Christ. Dude, this movie was insane. It was insane. You want to hear something cool? Yes. No, you want know what? No. Oh, well, guys, we love you. That's it. <laughs> he's Jesus Christ. He has scars all over him. Uh, he doesn't know where he's from, how he got there, any of these things. He, uh, in the book, you know, he has whole like uh, marks that would look like punctures on his hands and okay, his feet. Okay, the stigmata stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, JC. They call him JC at one point in the book. Somebody does. Mm-hmm. And you go, oh, shit. John and Coffee. Of course we kill him. And we kill him. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's a, it's a, oh my God, when you read the book and you go, because the end you find out he was, he was Jesus Christ. Like, it, you're like, oh. Uh, I told you, uh, it's, when I say the, the level of Shawshank level, like, whoa. Everything comes full circle. Jesus Christ. I can't wait for you to watch it, buddy. It's, it's honestly one of the best shot movies, one of the best acted, directed. Uh, I, I mean, Shawshank Redemption, that's the level we're talking here. Damn. That's the level we're talking of. of Damn. Of there is no weakness. There's no weakness. There's no flaw. There's no corny lines. Yeah, there's I can, no. I can see why this was a big deal at the time. Oh man. Yeah. Jesus oh, Christ. Man. That is a. Yeah, for a rated R movie to do 300 million at the box office in in 1999. Yeah. That's fucking a big deal. That's a huge deal. A drama too, not an action, yeah, not yeah, a yeah. comedy. A no, rated R no, drama. No, a lot of stuff. It, I mean, three it, hours long. It's it's one one setting pretty much the whole time. Whole movies. Uh, one hallway, which is great. That's what the, yeah. the shot is amazing. Just uh, when you see. I hope I gave you a good visual of what it, it just that I'm green, the see, green tile yeah, and the yeah, cells. I'm, I'm interested to see if it it, it it looks like what I picture in my head. The old, the way it looks, uh, mm-hmm. the prison looks like something out of Shawshank Redemption. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? That old build, that block yeah. cylinder look. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, man. Unbelievable, dude. This Frank Darabont's a bad boy, yeah, bro. Jesus Christ. That is a bad. When I saw that he did Shawshank, I was like, of course he did. And then when I saw he did Walking Dead, I was like, this nigga's yeah. cold. Yeah, he, uh, he makes heavy things. Good stuff. Yeah, this was heavy. Good stuff, man. Uh, Tom Hanks, bro. Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks. Tom Hanks. Another Tom Hanks classic. Banger, dude. Really. In Tom the Hanks books. Bang, Tom Is that third one? Banger podcast. Uh, Castaway. Big Philadelphia. This. So our fourth Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks Oscar nominated level movie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He won for Castaway. Actually, yeah. All he four of these. He Castaway. He lost for Castaway. Yeah, yeah. He, only, he won for Philadelphia. Philadelphia and, and Forest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. So we've done Wow, we've done all of his Oscar movies so far. Have we? Have, have, is there more? Did he gets nominated for Captain Phillips, does he get nominated for that? I think he gets nominated. Pretty sure he's got. I haven't seen that. Haven't seen that one either. Yeah. No, I lied. I have. That's a lie. (laughs) I'm the captain now. Yeah, that's the famous part. It's great. I mean, it's a great movie. It's It's a phenomenal fucking movie. I I imagine. Uh, Yeah, it's really. You haven't haven't seen a lot of Tom Hanks classics. No, and I like them. But you've seen some Tom Hanks classics. You know, he also has so many. He has a lot of classics. A lot of memorable movies. Oh. But you've seen. I mean, you've seen three of his big, big boys now. Yes. Philadelphia. Four. Four. Philadelphia. Big. Castaway and now uh, this. the Green Mile. You've seen four of his uh, best. At the end movies. of the yeah, by next week I will have seen this. Oh, I can't wait for you. I'm excited. That's awesome. That's you own it by fun. the way too. I own it. I, Fuck I, I, yeah. I buy these this is a good movie to own. Oh, three hour masterpiece. Yeah. Fucking. Also, I'm telling you, bro. When I saw this, I was like, oh, it's three hours. I was like, babe, it's gonna. I was like, if you haven't seen it, it's gonna feel like a minute, and then movie was over. I'm I'm writing the whole thing. Thirteen pages it took to write all that. That's a lot. Movie was fucking done, done in a second, dog. Crazy. I was having a great time watching it. Of like, oh, this the. I visceral. can't wait to see Sam Rockwell. Oh, he comes in halfway through. I know that's awesome, awesome. I, I had love a good when time. an actor does that. I had a good time. Oh man, mm-hmm. yeah. Every, uh, I can't wait for you to see all the characters. I think the director did a good job. It's like I'm not going. I'm going character actors. Of the, I'll go Tom and everyone else is a character actor. Yeah, but like good famous character actors. Mm-hmm. But I ain't getting no other famous people. You know, I know exactly the movie I want to make. Yeah, I feel you. Great, I feel you. Uh, yeah. This is a good movie. I'm excited. Yeah. And before we go, shout out to CD Lamb. Hey, shout out to CD Lamb, man. Where does Show your girl what it is. Yeah. Good for you. hoes, as I say. Good. As he says. We'll see you next week.